Damn, man. All right. All right, all right, all right. Everyone all right. loves Marine Land. Yeah, yeah. How's it start? There's magic <laughs> up on the <laughs> mountain high. Buckle the up your seats, your head into the, the sky. sky. It'll blast you up, up then blast you down. down. You laugh and scream until you, you touch, touch the, the ground. ground. Come on, scream as loud as you can. Everyone loves Greenland. Yeah, yeah. You're gonna love the sky screamer. Ah! Yeah, yeah. You'll wanna ride it over, over again. again. Everyone loves Marine, Marine Land. Yeah, that's it. Fire. <laughs> that is fire. Okay, that is a fire, a fire ass commercial. Yeah, dude. Damn, so what happened to Marine Land? Is this still a thing? I no. Think I think they got sued, right? They got sued? For what? For endangerment of animals. Isn't that the same shit as like, like SeaWorld? Yeah, I was going to say like SeaWorld. Have same. you ever watched that movie fucking... Blackfish? Oh. Nah. Free Willy? Free Willy. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Now you're now you're in my head. I thought Six Flags like merged with Marine Land or something. Six shit. Flags, really? I think so. Because when I was looking at Six Flags, they had like a I swear I saw Marine Land as like their aquatic the thing. That's Yo, Free Willy though, used to be one Free of my Willy? favorite movies, bro. Yo, Free Willy was crazy, bro. <laughs> used to be my, one of my favorite movies. Yeah, man. <laughs> what does it say? Maybe they did not. Is Six Flags buying Marine Land? That was four years ago. Four years ago? Uh, they ain't buying it. Nah, they ain't buying it. All right. Fuck it then. Let's start it up. Ready? They have Magic Mountain. <laughs> <laughs> the fuck is Magic Mountain? I don't know what that is. <laughs> magic Mountain? What, is, yeah, what the fuck is Magic Mountain? I don't know. I just saw it on Six Flags. <laughs> is that a ride? I think it's a ride. Let's go back and find out. Magic Mountain. Magic Mountain. Powering thrills with the sun. I don't know what the fuck that means. <laughs> it means... I don't know. That's just the one in LA, I guess. They just call it Magic Mountain. What's so magic about it, though? I don't know, man. It's the magic of LA. Man, <laughs> LA <it>. magic? <laughs> fuck it. All right, let's start this I show. got the magic <laughs> in me. <Okay>. Fuck. <laughs> okay. Ready? Yeah. Here. Three, two, one. What's popping, y'all? Welcome back to another episode of Beyond the Bar. This is episode 30. Three, zero. Big three, zero. And I'll be your bartender for the night. My name is Lloyd. To my right, I got... What's up? It's Mar. And our special guest, again, we got... You, it's Nathan. Yes, sir. Yard. Yes, sir. And um, yeah, we're going to be drinking the same thing. It might not be, the, you know. Same as last week. It's just a little bit edited, but we got the same drink. Uh, what is this? Vidal? 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 Vidal Lager? Vidal, Vidal with a D? Vidal? Vidal Lager. That's what we're drinking again. If you saw the last episode, we were drinking the same thing. This might not be the same day, but just know that. Who knows? Who knows? And uh, on a hard liquor today, we're drinking some tequila. Baby. Switching it up from the 1800 coconut. Got yeah. the dark one. Fuck that. To be honest, I don't like the coconut. You don't like the coconut, coconut one? Ass. Coconut tequila. I hate the coconut tequila. You should say something. Every, you, you've never said anything when we bought it. Though. I know, because... I'm an alcoholic. <laughs> My name's Lloyd, and I'm an alcoholic. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, we're drinking 1800. We do like tequila, so yeah, it's pretty cheap. 50 bucks. Yeah, not that bad. But yeah, we're going to take this shot. Let's start it off real quick. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Let's see how it goes. Ready, Nate? <laughs> <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Better than a coconut. I don't like that one. I like that one better than a coconut. Really? I don't like than that Than a coconut? One. Fuck yeah. Yeah, I'd rather well, taste a coconut. is ass. This one's okay. Not too bad. Mm. Not too bad, not too bad. Holy shit. I don't really have anything planned out for this episode, but I just want to get, ask y'all what, what the fuck is happening with life, man. How's life going? What do you think is the most stressful that you've been starting? This new year. Oh. 
Oh yeah, it is the new year. It is the new year. Stressful thing, honestly. Yeah. At work, it's been kind of stressful because we uh, I've recently taken on like a new responsibility area. Mm. Yeah, kind of like happened out of nowhere, and um, towards like the end of last week, and it's an area that I've like kind of had experience in already, but I wasn't really owning. Like it wasn't my area, mm. but now it's like that's mine to own. And I'm like, oh shit, this is a lot. But I mean, I just wasn't prepared for it to like be dropped on me. Yeah. Like, just like that. But, you know, I'm ready for the challenge. I know that I can make it look spick and span and spick do well and in it. Trying to. I've never heard that before. Spick, spick and span. And span. <laughs> Spick and span. <laughs> Make it all spick and span. Yeah, um, yeah I'm, I'm ready to, to own it. I just know it's going to be a stressful time to build it up to what it needs to be, but yeah, that's true. I hope, I hope, I hope that uh, it goes well. And I hope no I can doubt. prove to my, to my team and my manager, like, yo, I got this. Hell that's yeah. me. That's me. I'm that guy. I'm that guy. <laughs> I'm that guy. <laughs> I'm that guy. Yeah, I've been I've been saying this all the time, bro. If you you need someone, hey man, we're hiring. You guys are my my department's hiring. Lots of perks. You get a gym. You get affordable lunches. So I hear. <laughs> yeah, everybody. So at at our at, my, at the office, we've had this thing for the past like two months where we're allowed to bring friends and family, like in for lunch. And I brought like people in like every week, and every single time someone comes in, they're like, "This is where you work." And like this, you get to eat this shit like every day. What's the cuisine like though? It switches up every week, but it's not like Damn, some like, like some high school hot, calf shit. No, 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 like, it's some no, rich no. high school calf. Yeah, shit. Yeah, honestly, I I don't know if I'm like allowed to disclose, but it's like I'll just say that it's like they switch it up every week, and there's a lot of options. Hmm. Yeah, that's fire. The pizza, that's fire. fire, bro. In high school. You know what I used to love getting? I used to love getting fucking those breakfast sa- bre- breakfast wraps, <laughs> oh breakfast God. sandwiches. <laughs> yeah. Oh shit. Yo, those breakfast like wraps from yeah. the cafeteria. No, the from breakfast the wraps were good. Ooh, they were good. I didn't have any oh. breakfast wraps in my cafeteria. Bro, those breakfast wraps, and I used to get a cookie. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Did your wraps were they color coded too? Like a blue is like sausage, a red is bacon. Like yeah, no, the, yeah, the red ones were like a l- little spicy to it. Okay, we got that <laughs> spice like sriracha because they knew that we had Asians at our school. <laughs> <laughs> fucking bitches. <laughs> yeah, but I fucking love the spicy ones. <laughs> the spicy ones are fucking elite, bro. And then the the cookies were made by like the students and everything. So they got students making lunches for everybody? Yeah. Yeah. Usually at the high school, it's like the students would, the marketing students would price the shit too. Oh, really? Yeah. I didn't know that. That's why the vending machines were all fucked. Yeah. Oh. In my marketing class, we used to have to run like our own, like business, like not business, but like. Like a plan, like a, like strategize. Like a, like a little joint with like a bunch of uh, like snacks. Oh. Like at the corner. We, we had to like do like um. Uh, wedges or like all, all these like small snacks. Oh, we had like fucking uh, uh, like cup ramen. Oh, oh shit, yeah, yeah. bro, we made bang, <laughs> bro. They, <laughs> you buy that shit for a dollar, they charge you like three fifty. Bro, what the we f- made bank, bro. <laughs> <laughs> but it was so but, good. But that w- that wasn't going in your pocket. That was going to the school. No. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I was like, I was feeling like I was on like Wolf of Wall Street type shit, bro. I was I was making bank, like we. <laughs> Like my plan was like, yo, cut the savings, take the sauce or like the the packaging. You saw that separately? Yeah. No, 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 not separately, <laughs> but like you put half. You put half and then you put the other half in a fucking bucket. And then bro. And then they did it to get the other half that the bucket. Yeah, it. and it's like, you want extra spice? <laughs> put it on there. <laughs> extra 25 cents, bitch. That's crazy. Yeah, that, bro. That, that's a businessman right there. <laughs> Hell yeah. He, he took out the, the seasoning packet from the ramen and yeah. said, you have to pay for this. <laughs> you, can't taste, you can't taste too much of the difference. You know what I mean? That's just and charging it's like, for water. And it's, like, yeah. it's like your homie. I'm like, oh, you want extra spice? All right, yeah, say I less. You, I got you. Put, put a little two, two, two scoops. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? 
Hell yeah, bro. That's crazy. I didn't have any breakfast sandwiches in my cafeteria. Not even like wraps? I, I barely bought lunch in high school. Like I, my, I would always just be like bring lunch oh, from home. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, then yeah. if I had money, I would get lunch and just get like chicken strips or something. Oh, yeah. Or like a chicken chicken burger or something. We always had like these chicken burgers. Oh, chicken I thought burger. they were like fire. Yeah. Yeah. But I didn't have breakfast wraps. Maybe I just wasn't in school that early to even look for breakfast wraps. Yeah. yeah. Cause ours was like right after like first first uh period. first period. Yeah. Mm. First period and then you go to lunch, you have like a fifteen minute break. And mm-hmm. then you can get food, whatever. Ah. Uh. Then you can get food there. But other than that. Did you guys have rotations? Yeah. Or like, were you in semester? I had semester. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah. No, I had rotations. I had period rotations too. I I don't think I would last in rotations, bro. The way they like made it seem was that oh, some people perform better in the morning and some people perform better at night. So by rotating your periods, it was confusing as fuck. Yeah, but it by was rotating very confusing. your periods, you get a more accurate like it's like assessment. balanced. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's not like you're doing math. At the same time every single day. But that shit would piss me off. It's like yeah. day one, day two, rotate. Oh, it's a fucking holiday. Yeah, it's like, is now it, one, is it, is it one, one, two, two, three, four? Or is it two, three, one, four? Yeah. yeah, ours was like that. Ours is like the first semester, you get four days. Or four four classes? Yeah, four classes. Just four I classes. think it was like four semester classes. better. Four I think so too. And that's like how it is in post-secondary too. So it's like yeah. it sets you up for that. Yeah, yeah. And then you're just ready. Like you know what you're going to get into. The yeah. next day, you only focus on four boom. classes. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Like, I especially think I would have preferred gradual, that. Like, grad year, fucking when you had like free blocks, if you had it just like the last half of a year, you just had like two free blocks. Yeah. That would be way better than the, the fucking rotation shit. Yeah. I've never had a free block. I've had in my, in my grade 12 year, I had, I think, three free blocks. I had two. Because you guys are smart. I made my own. I'm not smart. I've I dropped math 12 twice. I, I made my own free block. <laughs> you I just skip class? Yeah, I just skip. Yo, okay. I don't know if you guys, I told you guys this, but I skipped science class like, like for a month. That's crazy, bro. Like a whole month. And like, I almost like failed that class. Like bad. Damn. But then um, I took the final and everything and I passed. You still passed. Okay. Or he... Oh, pity pass. He gave me a pity pass. Ah. He gave me oh, a pity pass. Those. We take those. Hey, we, you, you take I take those. those. You take those I still. take those. You take those still. Because then he, okay. I was, bro, I don't even know what the fuck I was doing. Because one of my homies, I had one like really like close homie that was in that class. And then he would, he would skip class too. Right? Yeah. And I'm like, bro, what the fuck? Where are you at? <laughs> so then I just walk out. <laughs> I just walk out of class. If you didn't see him, you just like left. Yeah, because it's like, what the fuck am I doing here? Like, yo, I can't have fun. Like, I don't know these people. <laughs> you don't know your classmates? I do, but like, I'm not, I'm not I'm close not with these people. Like, I don't want. <laughs> no, I do the, I do the, I think it was my French teacher. I was like, hey, miss, whatever the fuck. You want water? I'll go get you some water. 15 minutes. I'm just walking around the school. And then I come back with our water. Like, here you go. <laughs> Jeez, bro. I visit the dance studio. Like, hey, yo, what's up? Yeah, yeah, ah, yeah. Ah, ah. <laughs> and then go back. That's fire. No, that, that was me in my last year. Because um, I took like... Th- in, in my school, we had like a dance program. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I took... Th- I, I was enrolled in two classes. Mm-hmm. And I helped in one of my free blocks. I helped out. As a teacher. As a te- right? assistant in another yeah, yeah. one. So I had three dance classes in my last, like, in grade 12 year. Yeah. And honestly, without those three dance classes, because I was still getting, like, graded on them. Yeah. And my, my, my dance teacher, she's so chill. Like, she just gave me, like, a Free 96. Credits. Like, she couldn't give me 100, because, like, you know, that's sus. Yeah. So she gave me, like, 95, like, 90 for, like, one of them. And honestly, that boosted up my, my overall, like, percentage. GPA. So I was still able to graduate with honors. <laughs> you graduated with honors? I got a gold rope, bro. I was not. Not enough. I think the only time I ever got honor roll was like grade eight, and then the rest of the year I was <laughs> straight 50s. <laughs> yeah. Hey, was... C's, de- C's get degrees, bro. See, this is what I'm saying. High school, I didn't give a fuck. I was like, the fuck do I need grades in high school for? I'd rather use it as like a mental maturity. Mm. Like this is how like this is my experience to like know people and like see how the real world the real world works mm. yeah but in that. terms of grades i didn't give a fuck and then as soon as i got into post sec straight 90s mm. but if i 
if I could go back, I I probably change that. I probably like do better. In like school. try. Yeah. Like get really, into like really, a really university. Ah. Like, uh, I think I would want to go to university just for, like just experience it yeah just experience mm. if i went back i'd just barely pass and just party it up or just like i un- think so too i, I think i focus way sure. too much on school yeah like i, I barely partied why would school. you want to go to university and pay all that tuition no no, no i wouldn't pay bed. tuition oh, scholarship. I get, a scholarship. Get, a, get a scholarship yeah okay then mm. full ride yeah yeah sure i i don't know shit that's tough i don't believe in that shit university bro i'm watch me just watch me, <laughs> motherfucker. I'm gonna get rich. I'm gonna watch you go back in time. <laughs> <laughs> Need to be rich by making a time machine to go back in time to be like, I can do well in school. Yeah, yeah. No, not even that. I, I wouldn't even go back to my school. If I had a time machine, I swear to win God. Win the lottery. Exactly. <laughs> I'd win the lotto. Your place, you, you bet on sports? Would you bet on sports? All, All the time. Too, yeah. I bet on sports. I bet on fucking lotto. I bet. He'd buy Bitcoin. I buy. <laughs> bro, that's what I meant. I buy Easy fucking. money. That's easy money. If I could get all the money that I've earned now, invested in Bitcoin when it was invested in like, Bitcoin when it was at like two thousand. No, a fucking dollar. <laughs> like a dollar. In like elementary school. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I'm set for life. And what for, would you do with that money? What would I do with that money? Yeah, that's a lot of money. Just buy property, bro. I buy a fucking. I just I'd, flip shit. Would you flip houses? I wouldn't flip children. houses. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna donate no children if it's not mine. The fuck? He said, fuck them kids. <laughs> fuck them kids. They ain't mine. <laughs> Unless it is. Then. <laughs> I don't know how that happened. Loki? <laughs> uh, shit. No, but on some real shit, yeah, I'd probably buy, like, I'd probably invest it into some buildings man some mm. buildings yeah That's i'd probably enough. buy a fucking home bro if i can i'd probably make so much money off of bitcoin take that shit out boom buy a whole fucking village farm <laughs> <laughs> i fucking high rise bro just the whole building is yeah, yours whole, just rent it the out whole building mm. that's ideal that's I ideal good man yeah make money you don't have to do anything passive income is the wave Mm-hmm. They don't think you'd that get whole bored. Dividend, bro. If I don't get bored, no. Would don't you, get you think bored? you would get bored if you just had a fuck ton of money and then like? No, because I would always, I would always be thinking about money, because I'd be still you working get more. Yes, you're already rich. If I was already rich, I would want to be richer. So you trying to get like Elon spot? <laughs> Elon. But see, Elon's still doing something though. You just want to get money to like just be like, rich, but he's like building sustainable energy. He's I'm trying to make it harder for the people. <laughs> Why? Why make it harder for other people? Because I'm rich. <laughs> nah, not even he that. Said like, peasants. <laughs> yeah, peasants. Bow to my. These bow to are my, feet. my people. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, bro. Yeah, I don't know. I think I would get bored to be honest. Like, if okay. I was rich at like 19, if I was like a m- fucking millionaire billionaire right at 19 at 19 i probably f- fulfill all the shit that i want to do exactly then what do you in like, such a what, short what, time what are your side quests my yeah. side oh my side quests probably probably travel right just travel travel Traveling. uh buy the shit that i want to buy just fill out your passport yeah yeah fill out the passport uh buy cars mm. buy houses mm. uh more cars, more houses, <laughs> more cars, more houses, man. You know, I would, I would give money to like people, like my homies, mm, like share the wealth with them. Yeah, if I was like, yo, if I knew what they were doing, then okay, yeah, I'll give you, I'll give you some to help you out mm. for sure, for sure, man. I would, I would, I would for sure give money to the people. Right, we keeping you with that then. I'm expecting, <laughs> I'm expecting a check yeah, when you yeah, get rich, yeah, yeah. bro. When, when I get rich, <laughs> I swear to God, I'll, I'll give you some, some. He wants a house. <laughs> I would. I'll I'll give you a down payment for the house. Oh, honestly, I would take that. I would take that. I'll give you a down payment and then you pay off everything else. Yeah, I'll take I'll take that. That's the initial initial payment. If I was if I was fucking millionaire, bro. All my homies eating, bro. I'm telling you. <laughs> but if it was just one mil, then no, you guys ain't you guys ain't eating shit. <laughs> I'm telling you now, you guys ain't eating shit. You guys can come over, but 
You guys ain't you can experience shit. it with me, but yeah. I'm not giving you anything. Yeah. I feed you for Thanksgiving. That's about it. Because <laughs> yeah. a meal is nothing, bro. It is. It like is here, a, it's nothing. It's, it's nothing. nothing that's nothing. Here, that's a one bedroom apartment. Mm. Yeah, you just pay off that one bedroom apartment. Fucking that's it. Y'all town, bro. You still got strata fees. That's You're still oh paying like fucking 1K a month. You'll stay there for like 2K. five years. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and then you got to leave. <laughs> Honestly, bro. Yeah, Great. what would you guys do if you guys were rich? It's rich, like you didn't have to work, didn't have to work, and money just was just there. Yeah, some Mr. Beast David Dobrik type shit. I don't know. I think I would, I think I would definitely buy all the things that I would want that I couldn't get when I was younger type thing first. Obviously, like give that back to my mom too. Mm-hmm. But in terms of like what I do day to day, I don't know because. I feel like if I, I'm the type where I I enjoy, I like enjoy work because it makes it fulfilling to like I earn something. Yeah, mm. you know what I mean. Like if I just had it, I feel like I I don't know okay, that, what I would do with it. Let's switch it. Let's say you got, let's say you got twenty mil. Let's say you want you won the lottery. Twenty mm. mil. How are you gonna distribute it? Distribute it. I'd buy my mom and myself a place first. Mm. That's first thing. I feel like it's very typical. Like, yeah. get your parents a house. Get yourself yeah. a house. Yeah. Clear any debts that I would have outstanding, obviously. 20 mil. I'd travel for sure. I think I would also not worry about, like, food. I would just, like, eat a shit ton, bro. <laughs> like, <laughs> Uber eats everything. Yo, I would everything? eat. I, I, I'd hire, like, a private chef or something. Like, I would oh, eat shit. good, bro. With 20 mil? Private chef. Yeah. I don't know about that. Like, I would just eat good think, food like if i was traveling i was like i wouldn't have to worry about like how much i'm spending on food true you know what i mean realistically you could retire off 20 mil like yeah to be so? honest, yeah you could retire off 20 mil just like living normally not like living lavish living, living normally, normally like, like comfortably comfortably, like comfortably. Yeah. yeah you could you could retire off 20 mil but if i had 20 mil now i would just lock in the fact that i am rich and do the real estate just buy properties just to lock in and make sure I'm still going to be rich. Right. But yes, of course, buy the fam house, mm-hmm. all of that. Yeah, but I would cool. lock in and ensure that that wealth stays future. there. Yeah. And then, yeah, like I have like a couple properties giving you like payments every month. Yeah, you get 10, 10 grand a month. Then you live lavish for you're, the rest you're, of your you're life. Done. Exactly. You're done with life, bro. You're done with life. <laughs> done just with off life. yourself, <laughs> dumbass. You made it. Off yourself, you dumbass. <laughs> That's crazy. You've already unlocked all the achievements. Kill yourself. <laughs> That's crazy. You said prestige. Yeah. Bro. <laughs> Restart. Restart. Fucking reincarnate. Off yourself, reincarnate, bro. Prestige life over again, bro. Okay, let's make it smaller. Let's say you got you got one mil. One mil? What are you just doing? Just buying myself a house. Just yourself? Yeah. I'll buy like a two bedroom here and then maybe go somewhere else. Buy a two bedroom? Yeah. You can get a you two, can, bedroom. You, two bedroom. I, think, I, mil, I think I'd move. <laughs> I wouldn't move. I would want a secure place here just because this is home. Like, yeah, I don't I think I don't, so too. Like, I've been around and like sure living other places would be cool but I feel like I'd always want to be I'd want to have the option of coming back. Mm. So I would mm. secure a place here Maybe move somewhere else, like I go how Langley. <laughs> but then you're surrounded by the hillbillies. Just go. <laughs> <laughs> no. Leave them. You're surrounded Leave by them. those. <laughs> True. You guys watched True. last week. You know what we're talking about. True. <laughs> nah, I secure a place here. Maybe live in like in Calgary or something, just to like get your finances in check. But I want to have the option of coming back. And just I'm the same. Spot. I think I'm the same because no matter how expensive it is here, mm-hmm. I would want to secure a place here because it is home. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Like, true. As much as I'd want to like try and experience living somewhere else just to do it, and it is probably cheaper. Like I'd still miss like being here. Yeah, and if you secure a place here, you're getting free rent over there. Yeah, exactly. Because they're paying you monthly, right? Exactly. Yeah, so. I'd probably I'd buy my parents' house. Buy that that shit out. Make it like under my name. Once they, you know, like retire and everything, they go to the Philippines. Mm-hmm. That's my house, right? And then I already have buy my my place, my my apartment. Once once I have like a family, boom, go go to, you know, the parents' house. 
that I bought. Renovate, boom. And then rent out my old place. Mm. That's all mm-hmm. I'm doing, man. Mm-hmm. Rent out that shit and fucking smart. Have my mortgage paid off from them. Exactly. Right? But that's always the dream. That's man. ideal. That's though. ideal. That's man. ideal. Being rich is crazy. One day. You think you'd you'd be fulfilled though? What being rich? Yeah. Would I be fulfilled? Yeah. I feel like I still have to do things to like enrich my life. I wouldn't want to just sit there and be rich. Yeah. Because you I get f- bored pretty quick. Because I don't know if, yeah, like, on a day-to-day thing, if I'm not, like, actually working to earn something. I don't know if I'd want to work. I don't know. <laughs> well, I, but that's the thing, though. Like, for me, I, like, I'd feel, I, I'd be comfortable having that, like, that income there. Mm-hmm. But then day-to-day, like, I think I would just be bored if I'm, like, I don't know what I would want to be doing I'd with that free time. I'd definitely be, like, doing some, like, better myself like obviously with all that time like workouts would right, be right, so workout. much easier and just like i don't know just educating yourself more mm. like i don't know if i'd want to work but like i definitely be like educating myself mm. i think like that is true. even now like i've been just like getting into a lot of investing yeah. just like investing in yourself man like just making sure that my future is secured right sure, good. yeah like i don't know i think i think important is like yourself is number one, man. You gotta look out for yourself a hundred percent. Fall in love with yourself first. That is true, man. That's the tat I'm getting tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Japanese. shout out! Shout out to Esther. She's gonna be tatting me Japanese my neck tomorrow. Esther. Yeah. Hell yeah, man. But like, you're gonna catch him on the next pod facing I, this I, way. I like. want to be on this side now. On this, every time, I, every time we, put, I'm gonna be on this side, bro. Like, gonna show this off, bro. He's not gonna look at the camera once and be like. This. <laughs> Side profile only. Oh, bro. <laughs> I still want to get some tats, man. You want more? I want hella. And they got hella. I know they got, got hella. And he got his neck back of the, the neck back of his neck too. The back of the neck done. The only big one I got is my chest, man. That's all. And I got. here too, though. Yeah, here, and then I got the back here. It's a knife. It's a knife. <laughs> it's a knife. <laughs> yeah, I have a homie like ask me, oh, like. What is that? What's the significance? It's cool like, as what, fuck. What is that? Like, what the fuck <laughs> is that? It's cool. It's like, it's a knife. <laughs> That's all I need. It's a knife. 21. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, you start the... talking in ad libs, bro. <laughs> 21. Yo. 21. You. <laughs> <laughs> That's fucking hilarious, That's bro. All right, let's take the shot. Take it. Are we, are we, you guys have more limes? Raw dog the, the lime again? Is that yours or mine? This is mine. This is mine. That's I yours. This is mine. You want to swap? Guess- <laughs> <laughs> fucking wild, bro. I guess we're fucking going back to the- That's crazy, bro. We broke. <laughs> I still got some OSC, fellow. I still got some juices in there. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I-, I feel like as soon as I get this tat tomorrow, I'm just going to want more. Yeah. Is that, is that, is that, is that, that's like the thing right they, they say that like you get one and then you want more honestly I don't know how you'll feel about cause like this cause the one neck really is pretty don't hurt. it don't hurt it don't hurt but I feel like the ones that do hurt you get to a point where like you learn to just endure the pain yeah. and then at a certain point somehow like the pain feels kind of good mm. and then you kind of miss that not, not that you miss the pain but like you do want more tats and like the pain do feel a little nice after you get used to it. It's like getting sore when you work out. Yeah. You know the progress, but it's like... It's like that feeling... Yeah, you, you feel sore at the beginning, but then it's like a nice... Like you actually crave Like it. you understand that the progress of gaining muscle. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, yeah, the, that's just it, bro. That's why people take like ice baths and shit. Mm. The ice baths, once they get into it and they sit in it for like 15 minutes, they hate it. And once they get out, like they describe it as like... Drugs without drugs, like they feel mm. high almost once they get out. Uh, the the that spike of dopamine, yeah, thing. yeah, yeah. Dopamine, yeah. Exactly. Mm. That's crazy. I feel that. I want to take an ice bath. Ice have bath? you guys ever done like a polar plunge? I have in grade eight or grade seven camp. I don't remember. I think oh, like outdoor s- school, grade seven. It was camp. like we went to Camp Elphinstone, that's just like just over the ferry, and then like they uh. had like a little dock, and that was like their polar dip. So Elphinstone, yeah. I you think I've there? been there too. Yeah, yeah, that was like grade seven and grade eight camp. 
Oh. Shit. So in the morning, we just jumped in and then. Bro, the... what school you go to? <laughs> the fuck, we go to the same school? <laughs> Emily Carr. Oh, you went to Emily Carr. Elementary, the, yeah, because we have a, 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 what, Emily Carr University? Yeah, yeah. Of the arts. I went to 12th, 12th Ave, bro. Elementary? Yeah, bro. I went to Ridgeview. Ridgeview. In and West Van. Eric Camber High School. I went to Burn Creek. I went to West Van Secondary. Ooh. West Van, he's rich. I wasn't. <laughs> you have to pay West like, Van's rich. No, there was no tuition. It was a public school. Oh, it was a public school. Yeah, it was a public school. West Van's are rich. I went to public school. Now it's a community school. I wouldn't want it's my called kids a to community go to... school. Yeah, it's like Burn Creek Community. What the hell was that? Even what's mean? the difference? Yeah, what's the difference? I don't know, man. But it just sounds like bullshit. Instead of secondary <laughs> school, it's community. Like that's fucking. That makes it, it makes it sound more ghetto. Yeah, it does make it sound like more we were ghetto. already in the ghetto. <laughs> And we had a lot of worse. ghetto kids, <laughs> but then they, they changed the name to fucking secondary community to community. It's like and community I'm like, service. What the fuck, man? Like you make us sound so fucking ghetto <laughs> to be there. Just like, like <laughs> I hated it, bro. These changed the whole sign. But now I, I, I drove past it and they have like this whole big ass building like renovated. And Same like, with mine. It's a new, new place. And I'm like. But what the fuck? What? Yeah, like, where, where was this when I was here? Yeah, yo, we had a new fucking gym, new everything. Dang. Well, no, I think they're doing that. Like, my school did it, but they did it because another school had, like, structural damage or something. So, like, if an earthquake happened, they'd be fucked. Oh. So, then they're, they're doing it as, like, a merger. So, that I school see. would go in that, to the second building. But it was, like, a brand new gym, brand new building. Damn. Same with yours. Damn. Our, our school actually won our turf. Like, we... That kind of sounds like a gang. Yeah, we, we won the turf. <laughs> like a, we have like a turf field. Oh, okay. And yeah. you challenged the other school to a race. <laughs> no, we, <laughs> we, we just won it. Like we just got it out of like natural selection, I guess. <laughs> natural selection? <laughs> yeah. We, yeah we, and then bigger, we, got a, we, we got bigger, we better. <laughs> Fuck all the other guys. <laughs> yeah, we, we got the turf. But like I hated that shit because all that, the, the, the turf went in my shoes, man. Came home with all those black, like... The like the artificial turf? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Bro, I used to run on that. I'd drag my feet and I'd shock people. What the <laughs> fuck? We, we'd be playing like... <laughs> Who is this guy? <laughs> we'd be playing lacrosse or shit and they'd see me like... <laughs> doing, they'd see me shimmying over to them. They're like, oh, fuck, no. I li- I'd just be... <laughs> I like the turf, though. Because like, you get to like sit on it like in the in the summer. Like, oh. Everyone Jeez, everyone was out there. green as fuck. Your shoes yeah, don't green? But, yeah, yeah, but I had bands, bro. Oh. <laughs> the bands are crazy. The bands, the bands. The Back bands in the day, bro. Bands in high school okay, is the shit. Good question, though. In high school, I guess when you were younger, were you the type to have... How many pairs of shoes did you have in for rotation? the year? Yeah. How many one. in rotation? <laughs> I had one pair of bands. <laughs> we would wear one, but we had more. Like I had more, but they were like beat. Like, you know, when vans are beat and you see the bottom and then, in the inside, <laughs> like you, the soul is gone, you bro. You step in a puddle, your socks are <laughs> drenched. Yeah. Yo, on some, on some crazy shit. Okay. There's one homie that I, that I'm friends with and he, we dared him. And like, I think it was like the eighth grade, ninth grade to walk in this puddle <laughs> for like, Five bucks. Only five bucks? Yeah, for five bucks. And he walked like a block in this puddle. Okay. I don't know. The puddle went lasted a block. block? Yeah. Yeah, because it was like, it was in a ditch. Oh. It was a ditch full of like, you just made him go through a river, bro. So what is he, knee high? Like, no, no, no. Like, just like ankles. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Ankles high. He walked through it because we told him, yo, we'll give you five bucks if if you do this. (laughs) The sad thing is, I'm sorry, brother, but I, I love you, but we never gave him the money, <laughs> which is crazy. And he lost his foot. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and he's amputated. He got an infection, yeah. No, but he, there was a video that he was just walking in the ditch, hands in his pocket, like sad as fuck. <laughs> he just, <laughs> like in the ditch, just walking through the fucking puddle. I'm like, damn, bro. I feel bad. But I didn't. I didn't want to give him no fuck. No five. five bucks. You were like five bucks too much money, yo. It was amongst like like five of us too. We could have gave like a dollar each. <laughs> so we never gave him the money. But like it was like it was fun. Shout out, That's shout out wild, him though. Yo. Shout out him. That's crazy. I remember in uh, in my high school, um, 
it was like it was pretty like the area that my school had in terms of like property was pretty mm-hmm. large because the the grade eights had there was like a north and south campus. Okay, so we had what two buildings? Like two built. Okay, <laughs> like yeah. it seemed like it, Christ. but like pretty much like in terms of like blocks, um, the streets went in alphabetical order, like going up. Okay. So the the south campus started at I, like it was alphabetical order. So I, okay. and then the the top campus ended at M. So imagine that, four blocks. Yeah, like four blocks in between, right? That's crazy. <clears throat> And so, like, the thing, I think their thing was, like, grade eights would have their own building because it's, like, their transition. Like, it's, like, middle school. Right. Like, their transition from, like, grade seven to high school. Because I know in some, in some places, like, they go from elementary school from, like, until that grade six and then middle school. To, mine was elementary to high school. It was seven and then eight is high school. Yeah, eight is high school. Yeah. But I know there's, there's, some, there's some people that, like, have middle, middle school, school, which yeah. is, like, grade seven and eight, right? And then they go to high school, grade 9, 10, 11, 12, right? But then for me, it was, like, from 8 to 12. But yeah. their transition was, like, you have their own campus for grade 8 to make it, like, easier. That's boring, though. And I think it was fine. And I didn't really mind it. He was like, okay, yeah, we're, like, all together. Like, all the grade 8s were together. You know what I mean? And we had our own cafeteria and stuff. Mm-hmm. But it sucked if, like, say, you're in a, in a later year. And you had a class in South Campus. You have to like walk down. Why from would they north. do that though? Because sometimes there's only there's only teachers that teach like in the building down south. Like That's I had crazy. I had like I had a cooking class. That I had to go down. That's bad planning. Yeah. Are you gonna give grade eights their own campus and then make the what's the point of segregating <laughs> the grade eights and the rest if the other ones are just gonna come to the grade eight <laughs> campus anyway? No bullying. <laughs> that's that's, that's what happened. Inclus- inclusive. Yo. Yeah, yeah. Yo, in grade eight, just. <laughs> You bully the great A's. Yeah, literally. That's, that's what happens. So we're just going to no, slowly but, but, introduce But back them. to my point, when you were talking about the trenches, like, by that grade A campus, there was this, like, rain pipe. Okay. Like, close by, where it was, like, you're walking on that, that one street, and you can, like, go off and then uh, find this. It was, like, this entrance into this, like, drain pipe. And then somebody had graffitied, like, Hell's Gate, like, over the entrance. <laughs> Right, and I remember one time, like my friends and I were like, "Let's let's see where this where this, where this goes," and we uh, <laughs> we had our iPod touches, like no flashlight, just like our iPod touches. Wait, and it just, was like, like a big drain gate that you could walk. Yeah, through? Yeah, we we could walk oh. through, and we walked through the whole thing just to see like where it went. Pennywise came up, <laughs> <laughs> and it, and then it led us to like where like the beach was. Oh shit. Fuck. And we were like, and that's kind of. And then sometimes it was like low tide, high tide. If it was high tide, we had to like take off all our our shoes and stuff and like carry them and like get out through that way. That's the crazy. dirty drain water. No, it was ocean water at that okay. point. It better be fucking wreck beach or something. <laughs> it was ocean water <laughs> at that point. But I just remember like going going through that drain pipe. Like we were like, oh, let's explore this. But I think later on in the years, they like actually like. Gated closed it, it off because oh. they saw like people were like going in there i'd be skipping class every day there's a beach on the other end <laughs> i'd yeah, be bro. fucking exploring bro but it was like you were literally like underground you hear cars going over and stuff like shit That's have crazy. you guys ever done that shit like uh exploring like abandoned oh yeah things? in high school yeah i did that shit there was a there was an abandoned house like close to our high school you, you went in and <laughs> we broke a window and went in <laughs> That's crazy. And it was legit like an abandoned house. Like there was nothing. There was like maybe a little bit of furniture. Mm-hmm. There's no one has been seen going in or out so of it. Dusty as fuck. And it was dusty as fuck. Yeah. Like, and we went around the back, and there was like this window that went into like <clears throat> the lower floor, and we like chucked a brick at it or something. Damn. And went in, and then I remember we went in, explored it a little bit. We left, and then, like, a few days later, we went back to, like, see if, like, we can go back in. And someone had, like, boarded, boarded it. up the, yeah. the window yeah. that we broke. And we're like, oh, fuck. Like, no, I've, not, I've never, like, done that, huh? actually. I, I don't think I've ever um, been in, like, an abandoned place, I think. It's scary, bro. Now that I, like, I don't know. Maybe I have, but I don't, I don't think so. I used to have a group. We would, like, like. It was called the roofing back then, where you'd go downtown and just like 
I want to yeah. get on that roof. Go on the yeah, roof. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then you just try roof to find me. your way. Yeah, 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 yeah. You yes. try to find your way, so you do, like go through like employee access shit. Yeah, 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 try, yeah, try to yeah. take stairs. I had one guy know how to pick locks, and he would like pick locks when we go up. There was one close call, and the cops came, came up. Hey, you guys stop! Booked it down the stairs. Damn, bro. But how, like, even how like, tall was the building? I don't know. Just like regular skyscrapers in downtown. But then oh, even okay. like there was a point in time where you can get on top of Lionsgate too. Like it was like for some reason the doors weren't locked. You just climb up. Yeah. We used to do that. Uh, we've climbed Science World before. Not to the very top. but Science like, yeah, World? I've you can, climbed you can climb Science the World side too. And just get to like the flat part. Not the yeah, actual yeah, yeah, dome. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Just really? The flat. Yeah. There's motion sensors. Did you trip them? Probably. <laughs> I, don't know, I don't remember. We saw motion I remember, sensors, so we had to like creep around. But yeah, I remember. You can climb that shit. I remember climbing up Science World though. <laughs> I, I didn't uh, even know you can get up there. You don't. That. You just see, and it looks so easy. So you're like, "Fuck it, let's yeah, do it." Yeah. Oh. Um. Actually, there's this one time we didn't like break into like anyone's house, but there was this one time that we were young, man. I think we were like six, uh, five, fifth grade or something. And I don't know what our, like, what we wanted to do, but we had this obsession of, like, getting birds. <laughs> like, caca. Yeah, like, like crows. Birds, birds, like, like, capturing birds? Yeah. Are you ash catch them or something, bro? I like, don't know, bro. Like, like I was, slingshot? I, <laughs> like, yeah, bro. We had a slingshot. We, we had one guy with, like, a slingshot. And then we'd find, like, bran- like broken branches and we'd, like... Try to like, ah, you know, power world in real life, <laughs> bro. And then this one time, we saw this bird like outside this guy's like front door, right? Was it a tropical or was it just like a regular? Like it, it was, was just a, a seagull, regular. It was a just a regular bird, like probably okay. like a crow or something. But it was just sitting there, and then we were like ready, like we were like planning everything, and we we're like talking with the homies, and we we're like surrounding like the fucking the door, right? Okay. And then next thing you know, the guy fucking comes out. He's like, yo, what the fuck are you doing? Like, what the fuck are you doing outside my fucking house? I'm gonna fucking call the cops. And we're like young. We're young kids. Like, we just wanted the bird. <laughs> Shut the fuck up, bitch. <laughs> and then we fucking booked it because we were scared out of our minds, man. We were so fucking scared. We book it because we thought we were just gonna like get, get in trouble, trouble yeah. right? Bro, my heart was beating fast, man. I was, dude. I, I ain't gonna lie. Bro. Like, I just wanted the bird. Like, please. <laughs> like, all I, this for a bird. Yeah, man. Like, I've done so much crazy shit as like a kid, bro. Just like cat catching birds. We made a a, a bee farm. <laughs> a bee farm? We didn't like didn't like make bees, but like we captured them and just like <laughs> made a hospital. Were they making honey or something or no? No, 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 no. <laughs> just we just like I think it was like a hospital. You're catching think, individual bees and just putting them in one spot. Yeah. Oh, okay. The, <laughs> the crazy thing is we knocked them out of the air. <laughs> We're picking them up the, by the wings and then we put them in like on leaves and just like it's a hospital. Yeah, because you guys fucked them up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and it's like, and oh, like okay, they're dying. I fucked you up, but I'm gonna take care of you. I'm though. gonna take care of you. <laughs> I'm not qualified, but yeah, yeah, we'll that was try. our thing. Like we love that, and then what like the hell? some guy got stung, <laughs> and then like he got mad and just stomped. You know, he just stomped all over the bees. Like <laughs> fuck you, man. Like that's crazy. But yeah, that was our thing, man. Fucking birds, bees. Fucking birds. Fucking birds. No, 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 no. We the don't. Birds fuck and the bees. No, 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 no. Relax, bro. <laughs> That's crazy. No, but I don't know if I've told the story already, but there was a time that reminded me of a uh, when I used to go like sometimes with my one of my close friends back in high school. His mom lived in Squamish, and sometimes we'd like one of our other homies. It was like the three of us. We'd go up with him on the weekend, like just to like hang out in Squamish for the weekend. And I remember this one time, like he had moved into this like new like townhome complex or something and there's a bunch of scaffolding everywhere and they're renovating and this is a time when we were like hardcore parkour like let, let, let's climb everything right let's climb fucking everything parkour, parkour. Right? and we just started climbing the scaffolding and like 
in the middle of the night and we just like fuck around and do whatever, right? And I remember we were going around this like one wooden section around like the corner of the building. <clears throat> and the lights were off in this window. Mm. We walked past it. We saw that we couldn't go further. We were going, heading back. Heading back. I noticed that the lights were on as we passed by this window. And then we passed the window and this guy sticks his head out. And he's like, hey, what are you kids doing up here? <laughs> and, we're, and we were scared of him. I was like, uh, uh, uh like sunnier and shit. Like, uh, uh, I don't know. <laughs> it's like fucking two in the morning, right? Yeah. Like, like, uh. And then we couldn't answer him. And then he like puts his head back in and he's like, he's like, Izzy, call the cops, call the cops. And we're like, oh shit, we're going to get arrested. So we like yeah. fucking book it. No. And I swear to God, I haven't ran so fast in my life, bro. Like, <laughs> like we we I climbed down the fucking scaffolding so fast, and I remember we were trying to book it away that there was this like gap. There was like a bush, like a shrub. Yeah. And we fucking cleared that bitch, bro. Like, <laughs> like we just like ran and jumped it, and I was like, how? And I looked back, I was like, how did I jump that just now? <laughs> just kept running, and then we kept coming up with this like elaborate scheme of if they. If the cops did come and they knocked on our unit of where he was like where he lived, he's like, Oh yeah, we we were just playing games, officer. Like we're playing like at two in the morning. Like super strict street fighter or something. Like <laughs> <laughs> that's crazy because I've had that experience too. Like we were on a roof. <laughs> we were on a roof that we climbed. We we're like, oh, this is so fun. Like, you know, parkour vibes. Yeah, yeah. Right? Climb that shit. Someone sees us. They're like, oh yo, like. They're gonna call call the cops. Yeah. So we jump off the fucking roof, bro. <laughs> Dude, honestly, as kids, we were pretty indestructible. If we bro. jumped off the same shit we used to jump off of, no. our knees would, uh, give, my out. Knees would give out. My knees give out. Yo, my geese. <laughs> <laughs> my geese. My knees. <laughs> my geese. <laughs> yo, my knees would give out, bro. You know, we but were I, indestructible. I was like, what the fuck? Like, I jumped off that yeah, shit. You're like, oh shit. Yeah, like yeah. that's crazy. Jumping off a roof. But did you hit the parkour roll? The fucking <laughs> yeah, the no. This is this is me. This is me. Right? <laughs> I go to this, <laughs> and then and then I roll. Like I hit my Just knees. Straight knees. <laughs> 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 like like I tried it, but it, it never worked, man. Never worked. No, I remember like during that whole parkour phase, like I was obsessed with vaulting over stuff. What was your vault? The side vault? The Kong vault? No, the side. The, the side? side? I can never do the fucking front, bro. The, no, the Kong vault, I could not do it. I, I used was, to take classes, bro. You used to take cla- parkour From classes? From Vancouver, I would take the Sky Train to Scott Road and walk to a gymnastics gym and take classes. Shit. Damn, I didn't. I just tried it. <laughs> I saw, I used to like watch this like YouTube channel yeah. that did like parkour. And I don't know if you know, you guys know it, but it was like, um, their theme was like, like Mario. No, I don't know. You guys don't know that? Like oh, the, yeah. the parkour, like, like uh, gym was like Mario themed. No, I don't mm-hmm. think so. If you guys know, you guys know. But <laughs> they were fucking doing flips and I just wanted to do flips, bro. <laughs> I went outside, just started doing backflips. Like, <laughs> Because parkour and tricking were the same thing for, to us, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. So like we were doing like all the weird Taekwondo kicks, the yeah, flashy yeah, yeah. ones. Yeah, 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 yeah. I just like, I remember there was a drop in like gym session at our local rec center. Yeah. And like my friends and I would go in and just like start vaulting over shit, and, like practice like doing flips and stuff, but then we'd never apply it. <laughs> never apply it to like trash. Yeah, if I it. ever saw myself like back then doing like just these weird shit, weird. That Stop guy's yourself. weird. If I saw that shit now, what the? No, nah, f- we were sick at tag, bro. What do you mean? <laughs> They're bro. chasing you. You vault. They're like, how the fuck? <laughs> how do I, I have to run around now? And then you just climb Yo, back. C- up. Cops and robbers. Yo, and you're like, sick. <laughs> <laughs> thought you were the shit. No, Yo, exactly. What was your favorite game like as a kid? You guys like cops and robbers or like capture the flag? Capture the flag. Capture I think. the flag was. I think because that was like fun because it involved like the whole like class usually when we played. Mm, yeah. Like it was usually during like those like because in my elementary school it was like we had two classes for each grade to division one or like division two. Yeah. Right. And those like joint PE classes it would be like 
both classes against each other type thing for yeah, capture right. the flag, and that'd be fun, a lot of fun, like a rivalry type thing. Right. You know. So I think capture the flag Damn. was one of the, and, and I remember like <laughs> at the at the at the line, they're just like people just like staring at each other. <laughs> they're like this, you're like they're ready. They're ready to go, and yeah. then like there's people like sneaking around the back, like trying to pass them, like. Yeah, but there's people there just like guarding, guarding the line. Yeah, yeah. you know what I mean. <laughs> Honorable mention, when you had those fucking bowling pins on different parts of the gym, and you have the bean bags, and you try to knock down other people's pins. So I you're do guarding. That. You're, I do remember. You're, you're guarding your you're pin, your right? own pin. And yeah, you have bean bags, so you're trying to slide it across the floor and knock over other people's pins. I do remember while that game. Guarding yours. I remember that. Honorable game. mention, but our gym was equipped with like. A whole bunch of shit. So it was like a floor is lava, but uh, tag elimination tag. Mm. So we would like tag, yeah. we would have like the gymnastic things where it's like a you put one part part down and then it like goes up into like a like something you'd vault over, mm. like a gymnastic thing. But we just like ourselves, we would just like set up the gym and like have like what were those long things we sat on, like the benches. Oh yeah, so you'd yeah, have yeah, that yeah. across the, the benches. Yeah, the wooden you'd, benches, bro. You'd have mats on the on the floor. You'd have the vaulting thing, and just we'd create like an obstacle course. And then on our walls, we had three different like, it was like ladders and like gymnastic rings that would slide out to be parallel with the wall. Oh, so we had three. So that would be one section, and then like everything else was floor is lava. One person's it elimination. Damn. So you'd run around on this obstacle course and you can't touch the floor. That's crazy. That's that wild, one was actually. the most fun. That reminds me of like gymnastic days. Like gymnastic gymnastic day. <laughs> you took gymnastics? Fuck. No, no, no. In like elementary, oh, in elementary school. Oh, in school. Like, like in this class. This is a somersault. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The, it's like, oh, who can do a somersault? I can do it. I can do it. <laughs> but or in, in high school, it got more intense, right? You'd have to do like the, what is it called? It's not a hand. It's not a headstand, but your knees are on your elbows. Oh, like a crow. Is it whatever the fuck? It's whatever called. pose that is. But they you know would what? like actually like test you on gymnastic shit. You know what's crazy? Mm. One time in like in high school, one of my homies from uh from uh high school. What the fuck am I saying? Elementary. <laughs> no. Yeah. Okay. What? What am I saying? Okay, in restart. high school, homies from elementary. Restart. Okay. In high school, uh-huh. one of my homies, right? We had a, a gymnastics in our PE, right? Mm. Okay. One day, and then like this old ass lady asked for like volunteer, like who can do a headstand? And my homie like, was like, I can do a headstand. And then he did it, but then like this old ass like teacher like grabbed his ass, <laughs> full on palmed his ass in Don't front of the whole away. class. <laughs> Grabbed it. I was like, what the fuck is happening? I was like, I don't want to do no fucking headstand no more. <laughs> like, that's crazy. That just that's reminded me wild. of that. I think the PC is to grab the ankles, not the ass. Yeah. Yeah. What the hell? Just the ass. Like, just full on full grabbed her, his ass. <laughs> like, this old ass lady. Like, I think she was like at least 60, 70. Good job. Good job. White hair, man. <laughs> wrinkles yeah she was trying to feel all something that. bro all that man I'm definitely trying to feel something no but in gymnastics you guys ever like just try to like impress girls do it all the time bro all anything the time. co-ed or if yeah girls if, were if there was girls in your, dude i remember like it because i think in like what grade grade 10 onwards mm. they split the the girls and the guys up for pe yeah like you right but i joined or oh, i i enrolled in the class that was still co-ed, co-ed. yeah and any time that we were doing any type of sport, bro, I was trying to show off, bro. I was showing off. I was showing off. No, even in class, I was trying to show off. But even in regular PE, you had co-ed days, right? No. Oh, no? I, no, because yeah. No, after no, because after that co-ed like PE class, I didn't take PE after. North Van sucks. <laughs> what? No, we we I, I didn't take all, PE though because I, I just, I just like took co-ed. dance classes after. Okay, we had co-ed like PE classes. So even if you're in regular PE, there were days. It wasn't regular, but like there were certain days that oh. was co-ed. So we'd have like certain days where we would just do regular PE shit, but there was also like line dancing, square dancing. Type oh, shit. what the fuck? Yeah. You feel all these girls' hands sweaty? I'm like, <laughs> no, that was the guys' hands that were sweaty because they were all like, oh, it's a girl. Dude, fucking... No, nah, look, listen, listen. This was, this was in PE class, right? 
we had this one kid, right? So our teacher was like, oh yeah, next week we got co-ed. Uh, it's square dancing. So make sure y'all shower, right? Just what? Yeah, they just, said just, you all, y'all yeah, stank like, you, like, like make sure you smell nice for the, for the girls, right? Okay. This one weird ass kid puts his hand up. He's like, but I heard sweat makes girls horny. So... <laughs> He said that out loud? That's crazy. My teacher was like, oh the God. bell rang. He's like, yo, fucking get out of here. Just leave. But he's like, I heard sweat makes girls horny. So <laughs> That's crazy. That's a crazy statement, bro. But That's then you crazy. had the weird kids that would like, you know, your square dancing, you're supposed to like have hands touching. Yeah. He would like hover. It'd be like this. Oh, like this? The like hover this. is crazy. The hover is crazy. Like he wouldn't like actually make contact. He'd be like this because he was like uncomfortable. Would you guys hover now? No. And wait, if, wait, if I was, wait, wait, wait. If I was, if I was a... In that age now? No, like let's just say like you like. I'm square someone. dancing. No, no, not even. <laughs> <laughs> I'm square dancing at the club. What I have <laughs> Line dancing and you're like hovering, bro. <laughs> no, let's, let's say you like you're taking a picture now. You know those guys that take pictures. Oh, that do this. That like yeah, 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 yeah. Would you guys ever do no, that? No, never. Not now. Not now. That's a weird. I, I would e- never e- hover. No, even if it's like somebody that's, I just met and it's like a girl. That's like, visual proof of you I doing this. Like, okay, like that's this crazy, happen, bro. <laughs> you know, like I would never fucking hover, bro. No, bro. Yeah. I got that confident of boom right on there. Hip or shoulder? Hip. Hip. Oh. It if we're taking, if it was a famous girl. Hip. <laughs> <laughs> You you try the hip, and if I, she moves, then, she, then she, she, she yeah. moves it over after. I'm very flexible. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I was. Like, I'm very flexible with I what I do. I put my feet behind my head. I'm flexible. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking god. No, Damn, bro. No, I I never had those in PE class, or because because my my PE class was like, in in a way, it was kind of like elevated PE mm. class. It was like. For people that were wanting to actually do more physical activity. But that activity. was like after grade 10 though, right? After grade 10. Yeah, yeah. So we yeah. had that too. But then our regular PE classes, we did have certain days that were co-ed. It was co-ed? Oh, my, yeah. my, all my classes were co-ed. All my after classes. grade 10. Yeah, after yeah, grade 10. Yeah, we after- had that too. So after grade 10, you could take a class that was, that was co-ed, all co-ed all the time. Okay. But prior to that, grade 8 through 10, it, there was some days where it was cool oh. and then like because like all the girls knew i was like a dancer right because like you were probably a dancer at your school too right i was like the only guy dancer yeah and like people knew that right yeah so when it came to like partner square dancing i don't know why our teachers did this it's like guys spread out we all spread out it's like girls on the count of 10 you're gonna run to who you want your partner to be so i'm in the corner Fucking three girls are booking it to me because they Yo, know I dance. Oh, three girls? That's crazy. That's crazy. And one of them I liked. Zero for me, bro. One of them I liked, <laughs> but then the other one was just like that bitch. She was just aggressive as fuck. Elbow checking bitches. Oh. Gets to me. Yo, Yo. <laughs> that, I would hate that if like someone you're actually interested in is like Didn't coming towards to you, you yeah. and then yeah. someone else that like fought their way towards yeah. you. I would hate that. I bro. was still cool with that girl though. I like we kind of had a thing, but like I was interested in the other girl. Yeah, yeah. But she, the other girl made it to me. So then it was like a I don't know why they did this either. There was like a elimination thing. So you guys are just everything you learned in your square dancing partner sh- shit, you would just do freestyle, like just do whatever, <laughs> and then they would eliminate couples of dancers until it was the last one. What the fuck? So then. It was like was stars. <laughs> yeah, that it was weird, was bro. Stars. So, so they were eliminating couples like you out. It y'all was dancing out, with the stars, right? yo. And then it was the last two people. I'm like, spin. <laughs> <laughs> and then we end on the spin. And then it's just like, y'all win. I'm like, yo. <laughs> what the fuck? That's crazy. That but wild. I remember that. I was like, yo, spin. <laughs> right That's now. crazy. Dude, I had a I had a crush on a, some girl in ele- uh, not elementary in high, high school? school. First first year of high school, like grade eight, bro. Like she was riding on like my locker. It was my birthday. She's riding on your locker. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. Like, like it was my putting notes on your locker or like actually writing on your locker. No, it was my birthday, and then uh, like all my homies like wrote on it, kind of mm-hmm. thing. Like they were making like some surprise kind yeah. of thing. And she wrote on it, like she was there. She like helped plan it out. But then out of nowhere, one of my homies like 
swooped in and was just like, yo, I, I like this girl. I'm like, what the hell? <laughs> I was like, what the fuck? Like, yeah. And then she, he, he took her away from me, bro. That was the first time I ever, like, experienced, like, someone. So y'all didn't even hash it out. He just said, I like her and she's mine. They dibs. And mine. The, yeah. And then she, he, he took her, bro. And she was. They started I dating. She, she did like me. We were talking. We were talking. Damn. For, we were talking online and everything. Facebook. 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 Facebook MSN. MSN. Poke war. Poke, poke, war, poke yeah, war. Yeah, yeah, She poked me, bro. <laughs> Had the unlimited nudges. Yeah, yeah. MSN. <laughs> all that shit, bro. Like, grade A, man. And then later, later on, man, she, he, he swooped he in, He swooped man. in and took her? Mm. The fuck, man? Yeah, yeah. Hey, man, dibs when you together. were in high school were crazy though. But yo, this was crazy because he was, we were homies in elementary school. Ah, yeah. So we were we went to the same elementary school. Jeez. She she was dating some other dude from another elementary school. <laughs> went to high school. They were still thinging. Went to me, and then went and, to and my then, other homie. And dip, oh, See, best friends is. I was like, <laughs> oh yeah, she fine, like, she's good. Like, and then damn, bro, I fucking lost her that quick. I was like, what yeah. grade? It was just grade eight. Damn. At least it wasn't like prom or something. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Because I honestly, <laughs> I've kind of done that to a homie in uh, in grade eight. When you're young, it's like okay, learning. Because like I remember like there was just one girl, like. Me and this guy, like, we we kind of met her around the same time, and we both kind of found her f- found her attractive. And um, I remember like her and I like kind of like making the connection at yeah. first, and then like I was like, okay, it's cool. And then he he didn't really call like dibs or anything like that, so I was like, free yeah. game, right? Yeah. And then he told me that he's like, yo, like, why, like. Stop talking to her type thing, right? And I was like... It's like, we already this dick, bro. <laughs> and I was like, but like, we're talking. Kind of. And I was like... He's like, yeah, but but I called dibs. He was like, say that. I called dibs. And I was like, when did, you, when did you call dibs? And it was like a back and forth. And I was like, in my head, I was like, I'm gonna keep talking to her to see if she still likes me, though. Like, or like, try. At least try. So you told him I stopped, but you kept... Yeah. Okay. It was like that. And it was like grade eight, you know? Oh, and it. I was like whatever but never really turned into anything but i was like i definitely like kept trying after he he told me he had feelings for her lucky mm. the shot's been poured for a while let's take this real quick <laughs> oh fuck <laughs> jesus i need to pee again bro <laughs> 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 that? Uh, we don't have, we don't have lines, but fuck it. Yeah, fuck it. okay let me you want some of this it? you want this yeah i'll show you he has more i have okay, more I'll get this sure. is more yellow i don't <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> okay, cheers. Cheers, cheers, cheers. It's All just right. the I tell the story. Lord and Nate show. I tell the story. Sir. I look back recently, cause now we're at that age where like you see like people from high school like getting engaged. Yo. Right? That's true. That's true. That's so true. I saw I saw one of my like classmates get engaged. I was like, damn. Cause I remember a point where I was trying to get at her. Yeah. And I'm like, I'm so glad <laughs> that you went with him because if we got together, definitely we'd not nah, be getting man. engaged. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I was like, damn, y'all getting engaged. That's crazy. That's crazy. Yeah, yeah. I know I know one girl that got engaged like early. Like I think it was like at least two years after we graduated. Mm-hmm. I was like, damn, like, are you really like getting engaged now yeah. like that's crazy to me like i don't think i would ever get engaged like two years after after high school i mean how long have they been dating like how they've been, right <laughs> they've been dating for like i think a year in high school or no after? not not after high school okay then that's kind of wild because the girl I was talking about, she's been with that dude two for years in high school and like recently. So like, let's just say add another four years. So like six years. You think that that's realistic though? Like you, you marrying high school or, sweetheart? Yeah. Yeah. I've seen that. Like my, my cousin is married as high school sweetheart and yeah, mm. they got like two kids. I feel like if you start where like you haven't had a lot of experience and you start with one person and it gets mm. that far, 
Yes. But if it's like you've dated around and it hasn't worked out and then you get back into it, yeah. then like dating someone from high school doesn't really happen. Right. I think it's like after grade 10. You have to be dating them after grade 10 to be like yeah, high school that, sweetheart. That's, that's, that's the minimum. Yeah. yeah, like, yeah. If minimum. you're like, Otherwise you don't know what the fuck you're doing. You're grade yeah. nine, bro. <laughs> you're dumb. <laughs> I mean, bro. like shout out to all the people that are like, you know, still like, together now. Still together like now eight, for yeah. that. Yeah, yeah. I'm not going to say who, but there's this TikTok girl who like posts food spots, right? Okay. Recently, she's posted like the story of her and her current man. And like, cause now it's more like prevalent that like the age gaps are kind of sus. Mm. So I think she was like 15 and he was like 18 or something. Oh, wow. And she like publicly put it out. It's like, yeah, like we met at this point, blah, 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 blah. And they got roasted for that shit. I feel like you would get roasted. I know. But like back then it wasn't such a big deal. I feel like more, not that it wasn't a big deal, but it's more of a big okay. deal now. Yeah. When we were like. Like three years ago, it was a big deal. Yeah. I think when we were like grade 12, it wasn't a big deal. Yeah. I think the yeah. gap for this girl was grade eight to grade 12. Because I feel like every uh, guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Every, so, like, a four year gap. Every guy's like year gap is like five years, like high school years, right? Mm-hmm. Like, and I think our, our, our laws are different too, right? Like in Canada, you're allowed a four year gap if they're under 18. I don't know. I believe. Um, That's what I remember from my sex ed in high school. I don't, I don't, I don't know. If it, I don't was, know. it was a four-year gap if you're under 18, if you're after 18. I always, I always went with like, if they're five years, it was okay. Yeah. But like at the same time, if I was 20, if I'm 21, and and it's five, then year, it changes, five years, yeah. it changes a little bit. I'm, I'm not doing yeah, that. Yeah, then it's yeah. different. Yeah. Because like, like after, the- after your 20-somethings, it's like 19. I like at, at least the minimum. At least, yeah, at least. Because yeah. I feel like when you're older, like the age doesn't matter. Yeah, like after when you're like fucking when you're 40, like, 30, like a ten year gap, whatever. Yeah, it's like whatever. But, but like, especially so close to high school. Yeah, it's like that's when it's like now that I'm like, skeptical. Yeah, now that I'm 25, and if I was single, like I feel like you have to be at least like 21. Yeah, yeah, You have to be 21. You have to be legal. Is that the minimum then, if we're going to the states, right now, yeah, yeah, 21 right now, yeah, yeah. A hundred percent. If we sure. go to the states and you can't drink, you're weird. <laughs> like what the fuck? Like I, I'm not bagging that. Like that's crazy. I'm not bagging someone that has to stay home <laughs> while we go out to it's drink. Like, like, I gotta maybe, worry about fucking uh, going to the, go to the club. But you, you okay to stay home? Yeah, the, the, the fucking twenty. <laughs> that's crazy. That's crazy. You know what I mean? But like, if you're in van, I think it's that's that's different because the clubs are open until 19. nineteen, right? Yeah. But I think even now, because we're what, like 25 now? 25, 26, yeah. yeah. It's still 21. Sometimes it's scary though in that, man. But it's also, I think the the, the generation, at least nowadays, the generation now, it's like, because of social media, because of all the influences of everything, Mm -hmm. sometimes you just don't know. And it's hard to tell just because it's like, Show me your ID, bitch. You, you, yeah. they, they, they might look like, oh, like to you, it's like, oh, they look like someone my age. Even now, like, let's just say Fortune, for example, there are definitely girls getting in with a connect that are not 19. Not yes, 19. for sure. For sure. I, for sure. I, I haven't gotten into a club before 19. So I'll, I haven't, oh, I have, but, um, this is one incident that happened that I was, uh, I think it was like, 1920 that i went to the club you know and there's this this girl that had like a fake id yeah Mm. right came in she was like 18 but i was like what the fuck like like yo you're not you're 18 like you're not allowed to be you're not allowed to be here like i know this girl and it was just like it was just so weird because like connects man because like they were like like they were like dancing right yeah, yeah, dancing yeah, yeah. dancing 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 <laughs> and like I'm just throwing it back dancing? yeah throwing it back dancing <laughs> I was like oh I demon era right okay okay demon era like I'm down with it but then I'm like wait I think I know this person they're not of age mm. and I'm like I would never like yeah I would never do that. That's the thing, though. Like, do you think, like, because of the cult, like, the the way that, like, the club scene is, 
like no matter the age of like a girl the, like the how how like how attractive they are they can be allowed in right but for guys like you still have to be like they're going to be strict on ID let oh, me yeah. check your ID usually, usually. You know what I mean, right cuz that that brings in fucking people right gives in gives in the money That's for business. them yeah yeah business one on one but that's man. fucked up though cuz like you can let in like a fucking 16 year old and at minimum a guy is going to be coming in at 19 yeah at least here yeah if you have i mean ID. cole is doing it <laughs> but the true. fake true true but true. but the fake id thing like i i get it but at the same time i was like i'm not at least back then i wasn't itching to go to the club yeah i, I never had like a fake id well, I think we had house parties anyway. And that's yeah. the thing. I, I, I honestly prefer way house parties. More fun. They're way more fun. Yeah. Way honestly, more fun. way more fun. Even now, they're way more Going fun. Going to the club yeah. and then just like... I think like... Okay, for girls, I think going to the club is worse because... I mean, if you're underage, like you're getting hit on by like older guys, mm. right? Yeah, yeah. But yeah. then when the girls are underage, they think of that as like a flex. They're like, "Oh my god, oh, this, this older this guy." Older yeah, but they me. would never go for the, like that fucking, you know, twenty twenty yeah, something. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. they would. Nah, I've seen it. They think it's a flex at that point, and then later on, they regret it. They're like, "Oh my god, True. this older guy wants me." True. I'm gonna give them the punani. and then the, they become sober. <laughs> when they become sober, they're like, oh, they're like, this, no, this no, no. Guy. It's not even when they become sober. It's when they get older. Like, oh, that was kind of fucked up. Yeah, when, <laughs> when they were older and they be like, when they know that, okay, I think it's bad to say, but when when they're older and then guys are just be like, yeah, what the fuck? Like, mm. you you got digged down by like this older mm. dude. Even in high school, I was like, wait, you're, I I was in high school and this girl was fucking a married man. That's in high school, crazy. and I was like, like you're, "That's wow. crazy." And then I was like, "Wait, you're not like you know he's married, and you're still fucking him, okay?" Because like in my in my head back then, I was like, "Oh, wouldn't you like report a guy that's like fucking yeah, 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 girls?" Yeah. But they don't give a fuck. But that's the thing, like with girls, they can like it's okay, quote unquote, okay for them to do that. If a guy were to do that, mm. different story. If a guy was fucking like a, a older age woman. I think it's still be well, on the same plane. Guy, if a guy was fucking like fucking a, a younger, younger girl, girl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, like, yes, on yes, the yes. other side, it's like it's different. But story. if a guy was underage and he fucked an older woman, then, then it'd be the same like, playing field as the girl yeah. fucking. An older not guy. even same playing field. I feel no? it'd be like you get props. Oh yeah, no, the, yeah, yeah. With yeah. the homies, no, no, like, oh that shit! That shit. Yeah. It's like oh, you fucked the yeah, exactly. you fucked the milf. <laughs> you fucked the milf. Oh my god! What is like? Oh my god! What is a milf? I saw that on Pornhub. Yeah, exactly. It's just a category in Pornhub. Yeah, exactly. Like you don't know that shit, but it's it's kind of sad to like actually like think about. You know what I mean? Like how how guys get perceived as you know like they get to like. Do whatever and and don't they get still the get consequence. The, they still get the shit in the seat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like and like yeah. like if if today, right? Like if I had a kid and my kid banged the older girl, you'd be like, would you, would you even prop? <laughs> <laughs> we dap them up. It's hard to say, bro. Because like right now, I'll be like, oh shit, bro. Seventeen and she's thirty-two. Thirty-two. Yeah. Well, yeah, like Are you, mother. Okay, okay yeah, she's seven, a mother. Yeah, yeah. Okay, he, he, he's, he's he's about to graduate, and she's thirty two. I'd be like this. Like, oh shit! You really did that? Damn. <laughs> like, and okay. you're like, I give you props this time, but don't do that shit again. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Like, I give you props, but don't do that shit again, because it's you know, not gonna end well. It's not gonna end well. Yeah. Guys right? like moves. I know, but like that's crazy. <laughs> they know if what I, they want, and they they experience. And if I had a that's daughter, like Rocky. <laughs> if I had a daughter that did that, yeah, of course, I'm, that's I'm, different. I'm, I'm killing that motherfucker. That's, that's different though. It is different because you're gonna be more protective over your daughter though. I know, but like, like that's the crazy thing about it. Because like, why don't we do that shit with like the son? Because the way society is built as of right now, I understand that. Right, though. it's like guys do have more power per se but then we we are more protective of girls because guys typically are more manipulative and i think as a as an older woman yes i think it's because you you would understand why if somebody was like hitting on your daughter like that you'd be like 
I don't want. It's like, it's like you typically know that guys are more like, more so like able to be creeps than women are. A hundred percent. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Cause like we're guys, we know how guys think. It's like some guys exactly, are just exactly. Up. Yeah. They're creeps, but like when a younger guy fucks like an older woman, it's just like you made it. <laughs> it's like yeah, okay, fucks like yeah, down, bro. That's just the way society is right now. I it's know. not necessarily okay, but that's just how it is. It is as of right now, it and it sucks. But you it, it sucks because it paints a bad picture for like the rest of like the. The neutral people. That's mm-hmm. true. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. it's like that whole like fuck boy type mentality that is very general. For the people that aren't like that, it paints a picture of like for those girls like every guy is like that. True. You know what I mean? Because the majority of the people that they are experienced or like um, meeting with is like like that. Mm-hmm. So they're just exper- they, they just think, oh, every guy that I'm gonna be with is like that. Yeah. Damn. But that's like extra emphasis on like us as men being fathers to daughters. Like we gotta show them what is expected. Yeah. Not to like be okay with the fuck boy type mentality. Cause like let's be honest, we've all been fuckboys at one point. Uh yeah. Right? But then, Villain era as, for sure. as good fathers, <laughs> as good fathers, we should teach our daughters on like what is expected of yeah, a man yeah, yeah, to yeah, bring yeah. to the table. Do you think you would let your daughter, uh, like, be with someone that you are now? That I am right now. Yeah. Or like, I'll say yes. Just someone that you're like, okay, like let's say you're. Like how you are right now, would you let your daughter be with this type of person? No, let, let's say let's say you're you're eighteen. Eighteen, me fuck. Me. Eighteen, and then but actually no, but wait. then you know like that they're going into that person into the person you are right now. You're right now. Oh, eighteen, me because I was a soft boy lover boy. Yes, honestly, I'd rather let my daughter date eighteen year old me than me now. Really? Oh. Because I was very innocent at 18. I was very lover boy type. Like, I didn't know the shit I do know now. I wasn't like tainted by pose. <laughs> <laughs> True. So, 18 year old me, like, I was a very, like, I was like a lover boy. I was very innocent. What about like, like your fuckboy era? My fuckboy era? Your fuckboy era and I don't until think, now. I don't think any man would want their daughter to date a fuckboy version of them. <laughs> That's valid though, because I wouldn't want my daughter to date the fuckboy version of me. Yeah. But at eighteen, <laughs> at eighteen, I was still like very innocent. I was pretty oblivious to shit. I, I feel think like. at eighteen, I was in like my high school sweetheart relationship. Exactly. So I don't. I would be okay with my daughter dating that version of me, because more in so that than now? more so than now. Yep. Because at that stage, I thought like, oh yeah, things are gonna be fine. Like we're gonna make it to the end. Yeah. Type mm. thing, and I was like optimistic hoping for the best type thing right mm. so I would be okay with my daughter dating that version of myself now it's like I don't feel like it'd be necessarily bad to date my version now but I would prefer the 18 year old version yeah cause I think it's like if they dated the version of somebody who was the version of me now I think it'd be like there'd be oh, some bumps it'd be okay but they're gonna have to go through some hardships to like get yeah. to the to the end point, you know what I mean? It would still work yeah. if they put in the effort. But yeah. There would be more. It's gonna take some time than if we were 18. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah, if I was 18, or if I knew my my daughter was dating me at 18, like a personality like me. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> nah. Pause. I'm gonna pull a Josh real quick. Nah. Like, yo, I think because at 18, I had like 18, 17, I had my, like, first, like, heartbreak. Mm, mm-hmm, so, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. so I think, like, nah, man, like, myself at 18, 17, like, he was a demon. Like, he, he didn't give a <laughs> fuck, man. <laughs> I, w- I wouldn't want, I wouldn't want my, my daughter to, to go through that. Like that. Yeah. I Cut. think, I think for me, it's like. I've always been like I think I'm just a hopeless man, romantic type. 
I don't always like look in that optimism. Yeah, yeah. yeah. In, in in all those scenarios. Right. But the eighteen year old me, I think I'd let my daughter date more just because I don't know if I actually would let him let her date that more because back then I was definitely more oblivious. Like I would just let things slide. I was more right. of a pushover type thing, you know? Right. And it was definitely like a not fully ma- I mean, it's never really fully mature, but it's like yeah. definitely like surface level type, oh, this is love. Right. This is just this is just this is what love is. Right. And you think you know what love is. But now I think if my daughter were to date somebody with the same type of uh, personality that I have right now, I think I'd be more accepting of it because I know for me right now that I'm picky about who I love. Right, 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 right. right. You know? True. You know what I mean? So it's yeah, like, yeah. Y- you you know exactly like where you're going to put your efforts into. True, true. So... True. If my daughter were to date somebody that's actually picky and chooses her, mm-hmm. then I would trust it. Because then if he actually chooses her, I know he chooses her. Ooh. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I know it's not bullshit. Because back then, if he, he was like, oh, I choose her. Like, I, don't, I don't know if you, you really choose her. You know what I mean? But if it was like in the same type of mentality of where I'm at right now and he chooses her, yeah, I know he chooses her. For right. sure. For sure. Right. Right? So what what's the what's the age that you can let your daughter like or like your your kid like start dating? Start dating? Mm-hmm. If if my daughter told me she had a crush and her like grade yeah, seven like had a boyfriend. Had a boyfriend? Yeah. I'd be okay in high school. High school? Like grade eight, nine. I'd be okay. You'd be okay? I'd be okay. I'd know in, in my head, I'd still be like, I don't know if it's gonna last. It's I know it's early. not gonna last. I don't think it's gonna last because <laughs> that early, but because I was the same in the in that stage, yeah, I'd be understanding to the point where like, okay, you got to go through that mm-hmm. to understand what you really want. That's true. In terms of a part in romantic partner, yeah, you know what I mean. Because in high school, like, yeah, like you think you know all this shit, like you think you 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 know everything, you know, yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah. And it's like you think that like oh I I figured out the formula to love, mm-hmm. you know like mm-hmm. I'm in, in like fucking grade nine like oh I I'm the best boyfriend ever, but realistically you probably are not. Yeah, you at know, all. like not at all. Like we're still learning now. You're still learning. I'm still learning now. Yeah, same here. You know what I mean? So in that state, I would understand if my daughter fell for a guy during that age. I'm not gonna judge it, but I'll just be like, I'll let it play out. But there's still those like those really innocent early relationships that I would let slide at like grade six, seven. Mm. Cause I had that too. Right. Let's say, um, let's say your daughter brought home like a guy. How you gonna how you gonna set the like interrogate him? At yeah. what age? Yeah. What what age yeah. is this? What age is this? It's just like some like high school shit, right? Like your her like first 13. like boyfriend. I'm doing her first boyfriend. I'm doing uh, what's that? What's that? Movie Bad Boys Two. Yeah. <laughs> Bad, Boys. Bad Boys Two with the uncle. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck are you? <laughs> Better have it home by Mom, ten. Bitch. Fucker just slanging the gun around. <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I would, would probably. She brings, would her, probably she brings her home. I would probably if he brought if yeah if she brought her him home. I would interrogate him for sure. Oh, 100%. 100%. But I wouldn't even do it for the fact of interrogating him. I would do it for fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, yeah, yeah, just yeah, make yeah, him sweat. Yeah. Or what's that, what's that movie where, like, I think it was 50 Cent, but they bring him into a it garage. Was a, it was a, like, thief of something. They bring him into a garage and he has all his gang members around him. Yeah, yeah, And yeah, they're yeah, interrogating yeah. his ass. Yeah, yeah. It was like, because <laughs> I remember the, the clip, because the clip was like, he bought her home. Uh, she brought her home for like prom yeah. and he had like a condom sticking out of his like pocket. Yes, yes, yes. Oh. And then he, and then he goes in the and then he like tucks it in. <laughs> like, Let me talk to you real quick. Oh, Brings it to the garage shit. and these all these buff gang dudes, members. Gang yeah. members tatted up. Is that what you would do? Like say like you're 
your daughter was going to go out to prom with this guy. Mm. And he came to pick her up. And clearly you see if he had one out, a I condom don't know how act. like Low on key? in his pocket. Would you pull him aside? Yeah. <laughs> I'd pull him aside if it was a random dude I didn't know. If it oh. was the boyfriend, I'd be a little more lenient. Mm. True. True, true, true. Like, but if it's like, like that's my daughter. Like I that, know, but if it's prom and only, they've been dating for like two, three years, then it's like because you've been in that position. Okay, you've but been da- a guy. Okay, but I da- know. No, but dating, yeah. dating for a year. Dating the, for a year and you like, for a year, like, this guy came even out. Even then, I'd, give, I'd be a little more lenient. Uh, or what about like the first time you guys meet? First time he's getting pulled into the garage. <laughs> he's pulled into the garage, you know, all these guys. Whatever you do to <laughs> her, up. we gonna do to you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah that's crazy. <laughs> you have a condom? We got condoms. My homie's from jail. Just put out the roll. <laughs> he just came out. He just came out. 12 pack bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever you do to her, we gonna do to you. That's fucking wild, yo. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> if it was the first time meeting him, yeah, I'd do some shit like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, imagine that's like it's this guy just asked her out to prom. Yeah, if it's and a then you, and dude, then you and I and saw then, a condom, and you saw a condom yeah. like imprint Garage. somewhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm He's like, getting bro. pulled aside, and that's like my only daughter, bro. Yeah. Like that's crazy, bro. Yeah, because like I wouldn't give him the option. Prom ends at nine thirty. You have her home by ten. Yeah. Oh, you come home. Yeah, right away. If it's right? a random. Oh, okay, okay. What would you do though? Like if it, if he's late. Yeah. Oh. Slashing his tire. You staying here for the night? What if he doesn't drive? <laughs> he doesn't drive. Then you shouldn't be with him. <laughs> 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 the fuck? He's a broke boy. <laughs> you think you're gonna be with him forever? No. <laughs> We finna be rich. I'll send my driver out. Yeah, exactly. Oh. Bro. Because I didn't drive in high school. In high school, I drove. I didn't drive in high school. I think I drove like a year after high school. I drove like two years after high school. I think my incentive to drive was because of a girl and it didn't work out. So I didn't get my license. I got all of my homies like in my, my car. Like, in high school? Yeah, yeah. We like you were that guy. McDonald's. Yeah, uh, I was that guy that drove like everyone to fucking to the key, bro. Uh, or to like uh, Queensboro, mm-hmm. bro. We drink, we fucking McDonald's, McDonald's for lunch, bro. You guys want to go McDonald's? Let's go. That was me. I'm lucky. Yeah, yeah. I had to walk like twenty minutes. <laughs> 20, <laughs> 20 minutes is crazy. That's, that's <laughs> twenty minutes is crazy. that's thirty percent. That's that's sixty percent of your lunch, bro. Yeah, Dude, it's like crazy. my whole lunch was like what thirty like, minutes, like not even an hour almost. My 35? friends and I, as soon as the bell hit, we because our school was on a hill. Yeah. And at least at that time, like, nobody that I was close with drove. So if we were trying to, like, get food anywhere else, we had to walk down and get yeah. food and walk back up. Mm. And there's many times I was late for class. Bro, <laughs> like, you don't even know how many times I stole from 7 <laughs> Eleven. So that's from a high school fucking thing. safe way that's in a elementary, high school thing, bro. Yeah. Damn, bro. Okay, An element- no, because, okay, take this in, though. I was in a fucking elementary full of white kids. And okay. they all stole. So we go to some eleven, steal, like, a fucking can of whipped cream and just do it. There. <laughs> <laughs> but we were ghetto. Like, one of my homies, like, we went to, like, Superstore. We went to Superstore. We, we went through, like, some fucking food aisles. He just opened a bag of chips. <laughs> started eating it. Walked out. What the no f- one suspect Like, nothing. Okay, but the white kids, <laughs> he would get called to the principal's office, steal the can of fucking keyboard cleaner, and fucking <laughs> keyboard to get high, cleaner to get high. That's crazy. The That's the kind time, of friends I had. In the last time I got called into like the principal's office was like bullying some kid. Man, we called him Chunky Monkey. <laughs> the last time I got <laughs> principal's office was a fight with some white kid. I've never been called to the principal. Dang. Honor roll. <laughs> Golden rope. I've never yeah. been called to the principal. Golden that's, rope. And, and, that's why he makes money. And, and if, if, if my name was called, I'd be like, what, what the fuck did I do? And it's for, we give you credit. For <laughs> yeah. He's such a great student. That, that's yeah. why he's, he's making more money than us doing less, less labor, bro. I'm just... Facts <laughs> hey, man. Facts, man. The office is Yo, great, give me bro. a job, man. The office is great, bro. You're in the union, bro. Hey, you're a union, bro. Yeah, you make good money. 
you can you can just like strike for more money. Exactly. Yeah, yeah but I'm not gonna fucking not do nothing for nothing. What? <laughs> <laughs> Bro, if I'm going like let's say a month without Union pays you to go on strike. No, bro. Yes. Have you? Have, would you, like how how long would you go on strike for though? Realistically, if because it depends on how big I, the union is. Yeah. If the union's huge and they're losing that much money, typically a strike only lasts like a day or two, and then they give you what you want. Mm. Like TransLink. Right. Fucking TransLink strike only two lasted days. two oh, days. Oh yeah, they two just days. went two days. It was two days. Yeah, and then they got bro, what they want. No, because like our uh, our warehouse is right by right beside uh Coca Cola. Oh. Coca Cola, yeah. Yeah, Coca Cola. Coca- what? Coca-Cola? No. The Coca-Cola. Coca-Cola. The actual Coca-Cola. Coca-Cola. Yeah, okay. like Coca-Cola. I thought you meant the highway. The, the co- <laughs> Coca-Cola. Co- Coca-Cola? Coca-Cola? <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Coca-Cola. Our, our warehouse was beside Coca-Cola. Okay. And they were on strike for like three months, bro. Three months? But they're getting paid by the union to go on yeah, strike. Yeah, but it was just like depressing looking looking at them i know man. but still they're getting paid to do nothing the, the stand there with the sign they're getting paid i would get another job <laughs> you could no at the same time yeah, yeah, yeah sounds, you could. still get paid for the strike but get another job yeah mm. yeah okay fair that worked no but back to this yo like <laughs> if my daughter <laughs> my daughter daughter Yo, if my daughter was um, dating some guy like just like me in in like, okay, okay, say they're not in high school. Say they're they're like of age and they're dating somebody that has the same personality, same same type of values that you have. Oh man, but are I, you are you gonna are you gonna let them? Yeah. But or are you gonna thing. warm them? But here's the thing, I that. feel like me as a father when it comes to that point. My daughter would not go for someone like me oh. in, her, in university. I, I just let them. I let them figure it out for themselves, uh, man. True. At a certain point, you got to learn for yourself. Yeah. Yeah. You got to figure it out. That's but fair. I do have full faith that my I daughter feel like would I f- not. Yeah, true. Because I feel like every guy has been through the same, same thing. You know, if you're cool. Like similar things. If you're cool. <laughs> if you're cool? Yeah. If you're cool, cool. you've been What do you mean through... if you're cool? Because every guy that's cool <laughs> has been through the same thing. We've all been through the same thing. Are we all going to get the curse? What curse? When you have a oh, kid. player's curse? The, the fuckboy curse where you only get daughters when you have kids? No. No, I want to. Uh, I don't think so. I want I want two boys, older boys. I, and I believe girl. my first kid will yeah, be a son. Girl. Yeah, I believe it. I believe it. Too. I believe it. If it doesn't happen, <clears throat> guess I was a fuckboy. <laughs> I want five kids, man. Five? You want five? I take three max. My max is three. Also, yeah, I take three. I want three, but you want five. Max is five. Bam. Damn. Damn. It's a minimum three. I mean, like no, f- not minimum. Minimum is like two. Okay, yeah. okay. but. Five max. max. Like I want five, five max. Say three max. But if bro. my wife doesn't Dude, want it, three max for me, bro. Yeah, maybe, maybe three. four. I maybe want a four. Full lineup. You get yeah. fucked over. You get two, and then the last one's twins. <laughs> I'll get twins any day. I'd be down for twins though. Honestly, those would be cool. Happy twins would be babies, cool, bro. You're already on the way, bro. What age are you guys gonna get? Kids? Oh shit! Thinking about kids. I think I would want time. kids by Oh, actually before 35. Because I'm I'm 25 now. Yeah. Before 35. Cuz even before, if I'm looking like 27 like ooh, that's kind of early. Like I want like we still got to travel. Even 30 bro. is like, We still got to travel. Even 30 is like crazy. Bro, between, I just got a cat between, and it feels like yeah. I can't travel. <laughs> <laughs> like I want a dog, but it's like fuck. No, honestly getting a pet is like that's a Not, trial. That's it, trial. It, it does limit you a bit because, like, I feel like I can't. Like, but we the can't thing go though, on trips. But the thing with the, a pet, though, it's like they're that baby stage forever. It is a trial. Yeah, but then that's what you you know like that, that's the hard thing because yeah, they're baby. But are would, you gonna leave your baby? I would get a pet first before I try and have a kid. Yes, because yeah, yeah. oh, me and my girl already got into a fight about our cat. Yeah. <laughs> See, and it, it, us. and it, it it is testing you, but it's like yeah. a pet. Puts things into perspective of like 
seeing where you guys would handle how you would handle kid. yeah exactly exactly yeah yeah but oh, wow, man. i i've always wanted like kids before 30 before 30 or like at 30 that's still By that's 30. still in reach like you got five years five years yeah that's yeah. still that's, that, still, that's still yeah that's in reach but then that means like getting engaged at like what like 27 27 28? No, yeah. you could even call it at 29. You'd have a kid like right after, bro. Or would it be like <laughs> or, or, would it, or would it be like you guys are like expecting and then you get married? No, I think I'd want to be married before uh, expecting. Yeah. Expecting. Yeah. I think I like, be married first. Honestly, it'd be kind of cool because like I have friends that have like had kids really young. Mm. And it'd be cool just like the thought of being like a young parent. Mm. It's kind of cool. I would want to be. A, I would young be. Okay. I would yeah. be. But like financially, no, nah, I don't fuck with it. Yeah, yeah. You see them in the room doing TikTok dances. <laughs> I'm just like, yo, me too, bitch. <laughs> yeah, put me in that bitch. <laughs> yeah, but that'd be. Yeah, I do think of that like being a young young parent. It's okay. cool, right? It's cool. I think it'd be cool too. But then, they're like, like financially, you're like, oh, I don't. Want if to I had, it. if I had the money, like, yeah, twenty seven, bro. Nah, dude, I have two more. Like, years. like my mom had me when she was eighteen. Right. I've, I've had I have friends in high school that had kid, a kid at like nineteen. Yeah, I had a homie like that had one year after high school. A, a kid at like eighteen. Yeah, and they're like, it's cool having that like that relationship with like your kid, like when you guys are young. It's like y'all can go clubbing together. What the fuck? Yeah, that's true. <laughs> y'all have the same sense of music taste. Yeah, that's like, true. That's true. That's true. But I don't think I could do it though. Realistic, realistically now I don't think I would yeah the struggle of having a kid now yeah nah man fuck that ideally yeah it'd be cool it'd be cool yeah but yeah. realistically I just probably nah. wouldn't have it yeah. I think for sure I'm gonna probably have a kid by 30 yeah. by 30? by 30 I'd wanna have it before 32 who, who would you uh name your god your, your godfathers for your kid your ninongs for your kid my godfather Who's a good Godfathers? Godfather. I probably name like you, Drew. Low key, like I think Anthony? Jr. would be a sick Godfather. Jr. Jr. I think Jr. I think, J. Be a I think J. Jr. Would be yeah, yeah, like if I if I ever die, like you guys would, you guys would take care of my kid, man, for sure. I think so. Honestly, I remember uh, just talking about like speaking of Jay. Mm. I feel like he's just a type of like, no matter who it is. Just like inviting guy, yeah. energy. You know what I mean? Yeah, let's go to this fucking ramen spot, bro. Let's <laughs> go to this fucking this the spot. Bro, I that's know. Santa Claus, bro. Yeah, he, 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 he's Santa. Claus. He's Santa, yeah, bro. He, he, gets... wants to, he wants to please everybody. Which I think is great. Yeah, yeah, for no. sure, man. Like, I think... I, yeah, yeah. I, for sure. Like, godfathers, God, like, godparents. Yeah. That's sick, man. Like, even though, like... I don't even know if I want to do it in like a Catholic kind of style. Yeah. Fuck God parents. Let's do God family. All of us take care of that one kid. Oh. Yeah. yeah but the, the thing is, with me, like, I don't know if I want to like put that pressure on like everybody. Like oh. My homies, man. Okay, but. But it's like your homies would want to. Yeah, though. but they want to though. Yeah, but I don't know that if I was dead. Like, to the day I die. Like, I don't know. Like, you don't know if, like, if they're my, actually gonna my be like, homies are taking actually care gonna of, be there. No, nah, we take care of your kids. We take bro. care of your kid. Okay, but I'm dripping him in Dior. I, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> be like, yo, your dad used to have a fucking go yard yeah, yeah, yeah. wallet. I'm gonna get you the same shit. That's who fine. who do you think right now, realistically, would be the first one to have kids? First? Yeah. The first one. Out of like all our homies? Yeah, out of everybody. Who would be the first one? I think it would be me. You? I think Low I would. Key, have, I could I could double I that. I could see that. I could double that. I think I would have the, like our like my first kid. Like I, I want kids like now. Like, <laughs> if I could have it now, I would have You would have it now? Damn. Like I want kids. Like I want my babies, man. Your legacy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I want that. I can For see sure. that. Yeah. <laughs> That's crazy cuz we're like cuz we're getting into the age where nah. it, it could be more practical, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Bro, it's almost February, bro. <laughs> you ever thought about that shit? I was talking about my barber. Bro, it's almost February. 2024. 2024. February. February. Second month of the year. February. 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 <laughs> shit. 
am I slurring my words? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. No, but that, that's real though, because it's going by fast. It's going by. It I is. was like, holy shit, January's past already. We're getting it's, it's old, done already. bro. I know we're getting old, bro. Yo, we're in that weird stage too. Like we're not like Gen Z, but we're not millennials. We're like middle ground. Technically, we're Gen Z. I know technically, but, technically. but like realistically, bro, we're the, like this we're like weird right middle ground. Yeah, we're like the like you know what's crazy? You know what's crazy? Generation for sure. You know what's crazy? The shit that I see like on like throwbacks on on Spotify is the <laughs> shit that I listened to in high school. <laughs> Like, Same, bro. I'm like, what the fuck? This is it's like Bruno Mars grenade, bro. This is throwbacks. <laughs> okay, but low key, like COVID fucked us up. Okay. That that took away like two years of our clubbing base. <laughs> like when we show up to the club now, low key, like they're like, yo, these guys are kind of old. Yeah, that's fair, right? But like realistically, COVID took away two years of our like youth. It took two years away from everybody. I know, but like for us to be going to the club now because we got we lost two years, it's mm. weird to the new generation being like, yo, they're these like, guys are kind of like, old. Yeah, yeah, they're yeah, like, yeah. Yo, 20 what? <laughs> you're 25? Like, you're, you're in 20? 20? You're 25? You're 20? 20? You, 19 what? <laughs> 20? 2000 and? Yo, yeah. We're yeah. like 2000 That's crazy. And, but they're like, 19 what? Yeah, like 1990? What? I get called grandpa all the time now. I'm like, what the fuck? That's crazy. Like I, I still feel like I'm young. I still, I still feel, feel young. like I'm young too. Young. But I get called grandpa. Like, Same, you're old, bro. bro. Right? Like some of my old coworkers, like at Guilford, they were like, Logan like Josh. Like, they're like Josh, you're 26." And I'm like, "Yeah." <laughs> and I'm like, they're like, "Really?" <laughs> I think we got decent genes though. Like we, we look like the older people that still look young. Yeah, we got yeah. decent genes. Yeah, I think I think. Yeah, we can gr- fit grateful in. for now. For There's now. some people already. We can that still look, look cool because yeah, yeah, yeah. we got tattoos and shit. <laughs> right? Like we're like, oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, we we're, vape. We, we, we blended, look young. We blend in. We vape. We <laughs> we vape and we got tattoos. Yeah, we just drink more than you, fuckers. <laughs> <laughs> we got bigger tolerance than you. But like, yeah, man, like, no, it's wild. It's honestly wild. Crazy. It's like we're in a time machine, bro. Oh man, you're making me feel old, bro. <laughs> We're getting there, bro. We're mid twenties. No, it's crazy because like I need, I'm gonna buy. I need to buy a house, man. But that's the but thing. We're though. in Vancouver. But that's the thing, though. Like when our parents were our age, they had houses. And, they, like, they, they had. They, they, they had. Like the, the the market was like, you could work yeah, at a gas station. Eight hundred for a like fucking mortgage. Thousand. You can be working. If full we lived time in Texas, anywhere. we'd have mansions right now. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'd have a mansion, bro. If we lived in Texas if right I now, went we to would have mansions. Edmonton, I'd have a fucking mansion, True. bro. Vancouver's just fucked. Yeah, Vancouver's It's just fucked, yeah. But it's home, though. So it's like, it's weird. Like, you, you don't want to leave, but it's like... That's home. Like, man. I had kids in the States roast me for living with my mom. I'm like, bro, you need to take in that a place here is like a milli yeah. for a one bed. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Where you crazy. live, 200,000 gets you like a fucking that, that's two That's the bed. crazy thing, because it's like... In the states, I feel like it's so normalized to move out at eighteen, yeah. right? Because it's easy. Because it's easy, right? But here, yeah. that's the ideal state. Like you want to move out as soon as you're done high Did school. Did you see the numbers for like how much income you need to like have it's a, a state, house yeah. here? It's like fucking over a hundred k. Yeah, it's yeah, like two hundred k. Like you have to make six figures. You need six figures to make more than to fucking yeah. live Fucked. your life, man. It's crazy. Even like let's say like you're you're being a doctor, you're pursuing to be a doctor. They're like just making it. You, I feel like you, doctors you make are middle like, class. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Bro. You make like seventy k, eighty k. You're just going by. You're just getting by. Exactly. You're just getting by because you still got your debt. You still got your fucking apartment. You still got everything. Yeah. Your car groceries, insurance, car gas, insurance, gas, whatever, life insurance, fun. everything. You got left with fucking eight hundred. <laughs> <laughs> like, yo, you got level eight hundred. Going to fucking school to make fucking six figures. Like you're that's crazy. Going to school to be in debt. Yeah, bro. That's yeah. That's the thing. Like you, you're going to school to be in more debt. Yeah. Than after that's why I don't fuck with school, man. Yeah, I don't. I feel like a lot of the man. shit school teaches you. It's like you can learn on your own. I'm I think, smarter than all at these. Least, at least nowadays, I feel like your networking is more important, is more important than your education. Than, exactly. Because ed- at the end of the day, education is like a piece of paper. It's yeah. like, I got a bachelor's. And it's okay, like, but this person I think based on who you know, 
who can get you like give you the connections of where yeah. you can. I think yeah. education, like getting your degree, whatever, is yeah, it is it is a piece of paper, right? But it's just like, like how you focus. Yeah, it's like more on like to accomplish. How are you? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, like yeah. how how can you accomplish this shit? Like, are you able to do this this work? Yeah, but are you actually fucking able to do this mm-hmm. work? Competent? Mm-hmm. Maybe not. You know what I mean? Like that's that's crazy to me. Like, man, I'll just fucking start working online shit, man. I feel like I'll just do one. sports bets, bro. <laughs> Dude, I saw a TikTok Fighting where on horses. I saw a TikTok where these the, these guys like they were gonna they were planning to place bets on this like basketball game, and then to simulate it, they put it into two K. <laughs> They're like just to see, just to see if like that's what my crazy. bet is like gonna be valid. You know what I'm saying? Oh, like, that's wild. You put you you just let a computer simulate it. That's crazy you? because like. It's it's based on stats, right? Yeah, yeah. And like how good the player is. Yeah, yeah. And the the player already has stats, like ninety nine, whatever, yeah, yeah, yeah. right? It's like how good that player is. Get them out. You can honestly like <laughs> it. It's valid. It might work. It, it might, might work, work it might man. Work. You know what I mean? Like fuck. But did you see that shit that happened where a Vancouver news station posted this team versus this team at the Super Bowl? But they didn't even get that far yet in the actual Super Bowl. I saw that. It's like the the players are still like playing each other to yeah, see yeah, yeah. who's yeah. contending for the it Super Bowl. Like, but a news station was like, these per- these people versus these people on this day. Yeah, yeah. It was it's on like, like it's rigged. It was on the news, man. It was crazy. I was like, shit. Should I just put honey? <laughs> should I put a K <laughs> on, put this money on this? Should I put a K on like the games right now? I don't, yeah. know. I don't know, man. That's just crazy, but how confident are you? Would you would you be to bet on something like that? I'm not. Honestly. I just I just talked to like Ty about this. Shout out Ty. Uh, bro, this guy got like on like a one a dollar like twenty bet. He he got like eight hundred. Damn. Yeah, it depends on the odds. It depends. Right? On the odds, he just right? bets on like a lot of shit, but um. I don't know. You got to know your shit. Yeah. Like, it's yeah. just it's fantasy, right? Like, you just got to know your shit. Because, like, I've never been the one to watch, like, sports shit. And I've never gotten into it. Like, my family is super into it. Like, they have, like, their own fantasy leagues. And, like, mm, all my cousins and yeah. my dad will do it together. But I'm just like, I don't watch sports. I just <laughs> I don't. watch Netflix and anime. Yeah, I just don't want to put that much money into sports betting. But sometimes it's like it's you only I- put down 100 and you make, like, 10x. I know, but it's just at the same time, like I'm not gonna like you're not confident. It's like risk risk reward, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. Like yeah. I don't know if like like I'd rather Based buy on something, your knowledge, you I'd rather you keep it. But sometimes when that. you think about it, it's like, okay, I spent a hundred dollars on a game. Like yeah, a fucking but, video game. Right. But like And then it's like a hundred on a fucking sports event. It's like eh. True. Like like <laughs> I'm still losing a hundred if you lose. If I lose. <laughs> right? But it's the excitement of what if I win. But that's the thing about gambling, bro. <laughs> that Man. is the same gambling, bro. Sometimes when I gamble, bro. Right, yeah, we you need know. a Vegas trip. <laughs> yeah, you need to Let's come go to Vegas. You need to come with us. Where we Vegas, actually. Bro, gamble. I'm going to spend like fucking. I think I gambled, on I think I gambled at least 200. We'll do a budget. In Vegas. No, we were doing like the uh, red and black shit. Yeah, yeah. And I was like, yo, I made 20 bucks. Yeah. I lost it. <laughs> I'm, on, I'm on blackjack. I'm blackjack, on blackjack, I'm confident in. Like Texas Hold'em blackjack shit, I'm pretty confident in. Yeah, I'm pretty. When we're good. doing like red and black red shit and black, on a machine, that's, that's completely lucky. On a machine, machine. is whack. That's that's. Rage. It wasn't even live. It, it was, was a rigged. machine, it's so rigged. we're just fucking around. For sure, it's rigged for sure. But like blackjack and like Texas Hold'em, I'd be down. So when's the next? So we gotta go. We we still got. We've been talking about casino night. We still got to. We still got to do Let's casino do night. Let's do it. Like, let me save a little bit. I got. Yeah, I'm down like in two months. The first bro. paycheck in, in the first month. <laughs> you know what I'm two saying? Like, from now. Wait, 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 the wait, last wait, wait, month wait. is for is but, for the rent. But, but Valentine's is coming. So one more month. So, so March. 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 Yo. We, we gotta pay for you know the what? ladies. Let's, yo, let me the come. The ladies first. Yo. Let me come to fucking. You wanna come to Montreal? Yeah, let's do it. I'm down. We're doing Fuck Montreal? It. I'm down. Let's go to yo. Montreal. Are you going? Hey, man. I'll be down. Come. High chances. I'm. I'm Montreal's I'm not even going to be expensive either. Yeah. It's Canada. Yeah. Yeah, I know. 
Yeah. And it'd be cheaper for us all split. Exactly. Okay, let's do it then. I'm down. I'll add you guys in the group chat. You heard it here first. Carrington, Alea, <laughs> we're going to Montreal. We're going to Montreal. Can't say shit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Can't say shit. I'm sorry, you guys. I'm, ta- I'm, I'm taking them. I'm sorry. I'm taking them. He's peer pressuring us. I'm taking them. Yeah, he's peer pressuring. I'm taking them. We're too weak. <laughs> <laughs> he's blackmailing us. Yeah. Gun to the heads. That's fucking hilarious. <laughs> you can't see it. It's off camera. I'd be, <laughs> down. I'd be down. Hey, Mon- I, I've heard Montreal is just fun. And I just want to go for the vibes. Guys trip. Boys yeah. trip. Boys, Guys, boys bonding gotta, boys is important have too. Trip, bonding. Know? Bonding. <laughs> bonding. 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 I feel, yeah. Oh, here. Okay, I have one. Ready. If you could relive any moment in your current relationship oh current relationship single moment in our current relationship what would it be this is more for you guys because like you guys are in correlations so. i think the first time we met man just like it was Dude, just so was fun the first time you met? it was here it was here <laughs> was it here yeah because yeah. the, so the first memory i have of y'all two was that fortune it was after the night I went early and I could barely fucking drive. You guys ordered pizza. It was at what's her face's house? Oh, Marco's place. Yeah, it was oh. at Marco's place. Yeah, that yeah, was my first sure. memory yeah. of y'all. <laughs> no, but the first time before that, <laughs> I was just like a big pop. <laughs> no, before that, it was like literally that week, like the Saturday before Midnight Monday. Yeah, it was like Ken was here. He asked me like, "Yo, let's let's hang out. Let's let's drink." Yeah, yeah. And then all of a sudden, he was like, "Oh, I'm gonna invite like yeah, cause, Carrington." And yeah, because I was just like, "Yo, bring some girls." And man. then like, let's and then I invited fun. Lloyd because I was like, "Oh, I know he just came back yeah, from Sweden." Back, yeah, yeah, after his fucking disappearance, bro. Yeah, and I was like, <laughs> I'll, 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 "I'll invite Lloyd. Let's like hang out." Yeah, let's, let's have some fun. And then we were like fucking up until like fucking like six, like six seven a.m. morning, bro. Man. Yeah, and we we're just having fun, just talking. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel like. <clears throat> the fortune night i want to live like relive that like that was like a great moment like i think it was just more of like the flirting mm. the more like getting into like the uh the relationship you know what i mean like the first stages of the relationship the honeymoon phase mm, you know what yeah. i'm saying like it was so fun like going out with the boys and then meeting like some girl you know, like, yeah, yeah. You know what i mean because i set it up to be like yo like you want to like you gotta buy us shots. Like if you think we're good <laughs> yeah, yeah, at yeah. dancing, because I remember that night we were like, "Oh, you guys coming?" Minute? Lord was like, "You guys are gonna come in a minute Monday." It's like, "Okay, you guys are gonna come? You guys better buy us shots." Yeah, you gotta you gotta buy us shots. And I got all the all all the shots, hundred <laughs> percent. And then I was like, "Yeah, I already say less." And then it just hit it off from there. Like we just, we just and I remember that night I was like, Lloyd, don't go home with her yet. I'll drive you home. Yeah, <laughs> he was so close. I was really close. He was so close to like going home with I was, her. I was, I was like, yo, you just came back? <laughs> Don't yet. Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I remember that. I remember that because I was just like, yeah, you're right. You're right. I'm going to go home with you. Things could have turned out differently, bro. It could have. Exactly. It could have just been like a fling at that Yeah, it could have been a one nighter, bro. Honestly, I felt like it probably, probably would have been a fling. <laughs> <laughs> like, it probably would have been like that. Like, went home, banged out, done. That's it. Yeah. yeah, but I'm glad that like I got her number and then that was it. Talks for a bit, talk, you know, like do all that 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 stuff, and then go home with Josh. And I just, <laughs> I had, like, damn, that was fun. Next day, I I hit her up, man. I was like, yo, like, what's up with you? It's <laughs> probably pissed at Josh that one night. Yo, I could have went home with her. What the fuck? Man? Yeah, <laughs> low key, I was like. <laughs> Low key, fuck. I was like, yo, fuck, bro. I could have smashed, bro. <laughs> fuck. Hey, but it worked out. But that's just mm. the, the, the thing in me. I'm like, I just feel like in that moment, I was like, if it was going to go anywhere, it's not the right time to go home yeah. with her. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? I felt that. I was looking out for you. <laughs> I felt that 100%. <laughs> now that I like, I know, yeah, 100%. I would, yeah. And yeah. look at where you guys are right now. Yeah, yeah exactly. We're living life. Exactly. Man. Going to Hawaii. You're welcome. Hawaii. You're welcome. Hawaii. A wiki wacky wiki woo. Wacky woo. <laughs> <laughs> For y'all who don't know, we're just reading what the fucking shot glass is. Yeah. 
It says wiki wacky woo. Wiki wacky woo. woo. And it gives you uh, how to make a cocktail in there. What about you, Nate? It would be a a fine battle between the first night and there was this one night, or not night, but it was one day where we went to the museum. Mm. It was a, what should we call it? The one by Granville Island, not like the downtown one. Mm-hmm. Oh, it was one of those ones. by the- Yeah, yeah. Okay. but like I just thought it'd be cool to take her there because I knew she was like into fashion design. So I like did something artsy yeah. and we went. I don't even know if I should be saying this on camera, but we went. And then there was this one room that was like under construction or something. Mm-hmm. You weren't supposed to go that oh. route for the tour. And we went there. We just did some shit, <laughs> and then <laughs> and then we we carried on. <laughs> okay, but the first time on. you guys like linked up was it's the, the Halloween, Halloween party. That was the Halloween party because I remember it. It started in Winnipeg, so she it from, started in Winnipeg because I showed you right. Yeah, I remember. So so me and Josh went to Winnipeg for a dance showcase. Yes, and I was on my Tinder, and then she popped up. And I showed Josh, I'm like, what do you think of her? <laughs> oh, she cute. I was like, yeah, I think so too. <laughs> Messaged her, but she was living in Vancouver at the time. So we was in Winnipeg, her hometown, but she was living in Vancouver, which worked out because we were going back to Vancouver. Yeah, we were going to be home anyway. So I started talking to her and it was right when she was about to delete that shit. Oh. And then we started talking. And I think at first she was like, I don't really fuck with you Vancouver guys. I don't know if I should give you any attention. And then it just so happened that the Halloween, Halloween party taste. she was at sucked. So she came to ours. Oh, so that was the, the chance I had. I see. And then when she came there, she was like, holy shit, this party was like a movie. Yeah. <laughs> Cause like Bongo's parties go crazy. Yeah, and like they had crazy. like standing that on was the, the table. Mario and Luigi one, right? Yeah yeah, yeah. 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 And I have a picture of you looking at us weird. <laughs> What? There's a picture of me and her taking a picture. In yeah, the and I was in the and background. Like, <laughs> <laughs> he was like, I remember I was in the background. Like, I was like, why is he looking at this funny? But it was funny. Yeah. I knew it wasn't anything. But I was like, yeah, this guy's looking at us weird. <laughs> Dude, I remember. I just remember, like, I don't know, Ale, if you've heard this. But in the group chat the next day, this, this man, he was like, good boys. I'm geeking right now. Yo! <laughs> I remember that. I'm he was like, yo, I'm geeking, after, over geeking over this girl. geeking over this girl right now. And I was like, oh my oh, God. Shit. I was like, oh, this shit real. This shit real. Because I remember, I remember Nate bringing this girl to that party. And then, <laughs> because y'all was waiting for a minute. I'm like, she's coming. Yeah, an hour yeah, later. Say, yeah, you were like, an hour really later, coming? she's like, yo, where the fuck she at? Yeah. I'm like, she's here. She's like, oh shit, she's here. Yeah, and then I see you guys taking pictures, and that's when I was like, it's <laughs> <laughs> creeping. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She had the like, Scrooge oh, okay. neck. He's okay, like, okay, okay. <laughs> I see you. I see you. He's vibing. He's vibing, chilling. Like that was that was one night, man. That yeah, was we night. was there late. I yeah. I think me and her went to go eat at like two in the morning. At like a fuss spot. Yeah. And then she came to my house, nothing happened, and I took her home. I remember I remember Kay, she she uh what's it called? She came and she had her, her wisdom teeth just taken out like recently. Yeah. But then mm. I was just like, yo, this was wild of me. I was just like, yo, yo, baby, where you at? <laughs> I, I hit her like I called yeah, her. Yeah, yeah. I called her and I was like, yo, baby, where you at? <laughs> like, yo, are you coming to like bongos? Or what? We be drinking. It's like we drinking. Like you just come. Who cares? Like yo, let's have some fun. Cause it wasn't official at that point yet, right? It wasn't official. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But then she came. Yeah. With full wisdom teeth, just like puffed, <laughs> and I was like, oh my god, this girl is like, oh, like I like this shit. I like this shit a lot. <laughs> she was like down, down for it. So like I was like, okay, say less. <laughs> she got there, and I was like, so happy, man. It was fun. I think I was like drunk as fuck too. You were. I think you were like on the verge of passing out. I think was it that or no no. That no, might have been a no, different no. day. That was a different day. That might have been a different day. Oh yeah. Yeah. There, there was one night where you were when, like, when, when she out. came with her wisdom teeth, it was a different day. It was a different day. Yeah, no, I, I was we were, also passed out that day. You were also passed yeah. out too. And I was passed out. <laughs> we were both on the And table. then she she yeah, <laughs> she she took me home. Yeah, yeah. Or she took me to her house. 
One or the other. One or the other. Details I, ain't a point. I'm, I'm here today. <laughs> so that's all that matters. But yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. You, 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 it's just crazy to think like that one instance of like you like being so head over heels over this person and then where you're at now. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's crazy. I feel like ideally we should all have kids at like the same time. So when you have a kid, he's like when you when you busting in. Yeah, I'm already busting in <laughs> birth control, bitch. <laughs> Damn, I don't do that. Bro. I don't do that. Either, um, bro. what's it called? No, I don't know. I feel like around the thirty mark. Thirty yeah, mark is for sure. Thirty, for sure, for maybe sure. a little after, depending on the yeah, financials. Yeah, yeah. But <laughs> it would be it would be cool if we all had kids at the same time. I think so too. I I, I ideally like. I've always talked about this. Like, I think it'd be sick. Like. If we lived around the same block, the same block, oh, with, block with our families, friends, bro, and like and, 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 and to just walk over, to like, oh yo, you guys have a barbecue? Let's go. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah, like yeah, yeah. the kids walk. and shit. Yeah, you know what I mean? That'd be yeah, sick. Go to your uncle's house. I'm busy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Daddy, exactly. I'm bored. Go play with his fucking kid, bro. Uh, go play with the, the fuck. He's outside. Go, <laughs> go. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. I think that'd yeah, be fun. I think that'd be fun too. I think it'd be fun. I've always yeah. wished that too. Like I've always wanted that. All our kids grow up together. I think so. I would want my our kids start to start their own through. dance crew. <laughs> <laughs> no, they'll they'll take over the they'll take over the mantle, bro. Yeah, we're just like, <laughs> yeah, we see those old people that are just doing like. <laughs> <laughs> what if the dance moves then are like weird? Like what? It's what? contempt. You know, like you know, like how raving they have that weird dance. What's it called? The fucking like the. Yeah, that like, shit. Like, like the voguing thing, but what it's if, not voguing. What if that's the new dance thing, oh, and really? then we're just yeah, like how they're doing that weird shit. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> not not that it's weird shit. Everyone has their place, but like, what if that was like dance then, and like our dance is obsolete? Like we're just weirdos at that point. Oh. <laughs> Would you ever go to the club with your kid? If I was, if, if, only if they if were, were doing young. like Midnight Mondays, <laughs> that's the line. Oh, but bring I'll, in the pops and the moms to do a set. Oh, I would still be killing it. I'd be like, yeah, watch this shit. I'll still be killing it. Yeah, watch us, watch us. Yeah, yeah. Forty something. Yeah, bro. That'd be sick, actually. No, but like, would you do a yeah. set? Would you do a set with your kid? Fuck yeah! yeah. yeah. If that that was an option. Yeah. Fuck yeah. Yeah, let me have a kid now, and we can go fucking fortune. I know promoters. <laughs> I'll still know promoters that are so alive. <laughs> like that's crazy. Like I, I'd be down. I'd be yeah, down. That'd be sick. Cool. That'd actually be sick. All right. Uh, we're just gonna he- end it off right now, right now, right now. Uh yeah. So this is the end of uh behind the bar. If you like the episode, obviously share, comment, subscribe. You already know what it is. Like this, sh- like the shit out of it. I want to tell you spam that now. shit. Yeah, like make an alternate account. Yeah, alternate account. <laughs> Give us more likes. Yeah, exactly. You know, we had a lot of fun on this podcast. So for that, we're gonna take a shot for y'all. Yes, sir. Send it off. End it off. Oh yeah. Finish the tequila. Is the- <sighs> I'm Lloyd, your bartender. This is Mar. This is Nathan. Love y'all, man. Cheers. Catch y'all next week.